go. Okay. So, hello, internet. Uh, all of the D20s. Thank you for that. Um, anyway, Good start. We, uh, we're back. Uh, we took last week off. We're back with some more Dungeons & Dragons, Princes of the Apocalypse. Our party had... Ba, ba, ba. They had just recently exited Red Larch to investigate a skull pinned to a tree, which turned out to not be much of anything. Then they went yeah, to I visit... Totally expecting... Well, there, there, there might be more stuff with that. You don't know. What? We just didn't find I mean, it didn't instance, very good. No, if I, I mean... sold that thing, it would have had, like, friggin' 18 friggin' bandits. But because I brought the whole damn party, it was literally a skull. Well... Um, you also Surprise. maybe maybe we don't anger God. No, I'm fine with it. I, I'm I'm just saying that you know you guys touch that stuff and and maybe touching things was not a good idea. No, so, oh. she touched maybe, it. Maybe it was Son of a... maybe it was cursed. Maybe no, maybe, I didn't. Maybe you don't know that. So, Actually, we'll I believe I believe it was uh, Kriv that touched it. No, it was nope. It was Shadron that touched it. Oh. No, no, up. I just have the arrow. True. I took that after the skull was removed. Well, either way. I'm fine with that. I, I can shoot the arrow into other people to spread well, the don't curse. Know, I'm you okay. don't know how the curse works. That's fine. But it doesn't matter. If there's even a curse at all. Maybe I'm just lying. If. Um, and then you went <laughs> Who and has the, the message? Uh, I don't know. I think you guys just <laughs> left it there, I thought. <laughs> I no thought idea. The traveling merchant trips over it. And says, oh no, not again! <laughs> um, the, and you swung by the Trickle Rock Cave, which was supposed to have a legendary treasure, and all it had was four sturges and not no treasure. giant mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. big old mosquitoes. So, and then you had just returned to Red Larch, and the sun was setting. So let's. Set a little mood lighting. And Ooh. Oh snap! Oh yeah. Ooh. That's right. Salmon. Um. So yeah, that's uh. Uh. Yeah. Sorry. Is it? Is it totally mute out your dice? Uh. So on. I missed. No, that. it's fine. Okay. Um. So anyway. Uh. You, <laughs> oh, is everybody rolling to get lucky? That's two 18s. That's two 18s to get lucky. Aww. I got it too. Oh, come on, Steve. <laughs> no, We're yeah. starting this already? All right, all right. Man, the uh, giant walking metal skeleton got more lucky. than. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's Maybe it's the boobs. Um, anyway. <laughs> Might be the boobs. Uh, <laughs> So, I believe what we left off was Shadron was, they got, you got back and you were going, because the sun was setting, to the quarry, I believe? Yep, I was going to go check so that place out. to scope out the quarry and everybody else was going to the tavern to have a drink on Marin. That's right, but I can't get drunk. That's also true. So, okay. Um, so, Reap, I'm going to say... Just you get to the quarry, and we'll just kind of put you on pause for now, and um, we'll That's come. Cool. We'll come back once the sun actually finishes going down, and I change the mood lighting to night because I really like cool. the mood lighting thing. Ooh. I don't know. It's like my favorite feature about this is the mood lighting. I don't know why, but whatever. <laughs> um, so let's let's go to the uh, the tavern. So you guys are heading to the Helmet High Sun. The remainder of the party, the meat bags, and the robots off in the, the quarry here. So, um, okay, you guys enter the uh, helm at high sun and right, yeah, helm at high sun and the better one, not yes, the yes, the, the actual the actual tavern, the one that doesn't have the fire in the kitchen and all that good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and Creve, you do notice that your lovely friend Stanor Thistlehair is still there drinking. I'm gonna wave. <laughs> he kind of lifts his drink up, and you notice that he must be a lightweight. Get it? Because he's a light foot. 
Because he's alive with Avalon. He's still <laughs> nursing the drink that you bought him. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to tell... Like a day ago? I'm going to tell Marin and Lara Familia, like, yeah, I met that dude, like, yesterday, and I bought him that drink. <laughs> is, he, um, is, he, is he cool enough to sit next to her, or do we have to get our own table? Um, he's kind of a dick. Um, we can sit next to him, but I would recommend we don't. Um, he did have a, a line on, uh, something weird happening in town, but he wanted ten gold for it, and I didn't have ten gold. So maybe after we're done, maybe we'll, we could swing we'll, by his we, table. We can call him over if we want to. Yeah, and then maybe uh, we'll give him the ten gold and get the line. He was like, something weird's been happening. And I was like, oh, <laughs> maybe I'll take care of it. And he was like, for ten gold, I'll tell you. <laughs> I didn't have it. Yeah, he only had, what, five, I think? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to say that you guys can go up. I'm going to just look up stuff for prices of ale. Oh, here we go. we got the whole food and drink table up for Red Larch. What? Um, so, oh, ale. <laughs> I think. Thank you, uh, Impious, for the follow, by the way. Um, so, ale, a gallon of ale is two silver pieces. <laughs> so <laughs> Nice! <laughs> A mug is only four <laughs> copper, but a gallon... We'll get a gallon of ale. <laughs> You're gonna buy a gallon? Yeah. I, yeah. You know what? In my mind, a gallon is like the ye old medieval... It's like a like, keg. ...desk funnel. You know, like you get the beer tube. Yeah, it's like a keg thing. With like, the tap on it's it. Four liters. Yeah, so that's, uh, you're gonna get a little, you're gonna get a, a beer tube there, or a, an ale tube for the table with your old trickety wooden <laughs> spigot and your, your flagons there. Um, yeah. So, dock yourself two silver pieces. Um, oh, man. So poor. <laughs> um, and they also have food available, if you guys are interested in getting anything to eat. It's a, it's, <laughs> you know. Do they have, like, a stew? Yeah, let's say they have a stew. They've got a stew. What about chicken wings? Do, do they have an onion thing? Ooh. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> they throw a couple, they throw a couple cr crumble cakes into uh, water and then boil it for five minutes. <laughs> uh, I mean, they do have crumble cakes. That is the that is the base food. Obviously, always crumble cakes are in the menu. They have cheese. They have bread. Um, probably some kind of jerky slash chunk of meat. But on a roll of percentile hedge, if I get above 50, Cheesy bread. they have an onion. Oh, oh, man. Did you guys see that I roll, or was that hidden? No. No, I was hidden. Well, it was an 81. That. So congratulations. What? It was an 81. So they have an Robot onion. Robot DM. Nice. So yes. one of the, uh, the, the cook here, who's the cook or the purveyor of this place? Oh, God. Mango Barrel Lauren? God, these names. Sounds like his onion thing would just be, like, an onion cut. <laughs> well, let's say, let's call him Mango. Let's, you know what, let's call him Lauren instead of Mango. He's, he's a guy, though. That's his last name. Anyway. Uh, what about Mongo? Mongo. Like... But his name was Mango. It's Mango Barrel. Well, I'm thinking Mongo for um, uh, Mango. Man. 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 Uh, let's just call him Lauren. <laughs> or we'll just call you know what Manny. The guy's name's Manny. Done. Okay. Manny. Hey. Manny, who is apparently in the bakery, and I'm reading the wrong entry, so never mind. Hey. <laughs> um, that's fine, guys. Just totally... you know what Manny also helps out at. Oh, here we go. Garland. Garland. He runs the Helmet High Sun. Anyway, he is the revolutionary breakout star of historic Red Larch with his patented onion thing, came up with the clever idea of taking boiling oil and dunking an onion in it, and then saying, after it's been battered, and says, look at this, this is my onion thing. So Well, first, you gotta, you gotta soak it in cold water. <laughs> you gotta soak it in cold first. water, right, so that it stays it's, together. It's gotta be frozen. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, that is for sale as well, and that is a mere five copper pieces Sweet. Uh, let's go ten copper pieces. There's a lot of work in there. Oh, come on. You have the money. <laughs> whole, I mean, okay, get a whole yeah. discount over here? <laughs> maybe. Maybe if you buy... You know what? It's buy two, get one half off. How about that? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So you can buy an onion thing. 
or two okay. get one for half off. <laughs> so, oh, are we sitting down now? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. We were just kind of like to ask them to see what's on the menu, so I figured we were sitting down, I guess. With so the, let's say you guys are sitting down. All right. With a wench to take our order. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's say that that happens. <laughs> um, so, you guys are now sitting at the table. You have your onion thing, your stew, if you're so inclined. Were you inclined for the stew? By yeah. The way? Um, stew. Let's go to bowl and... of stew is three copper pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah. Uh, that takes me down to six. Okay. How much was the onion thing? Uh, ten copper, two, ah. buy two, get one, half a lot. Suck. You know All right, man. I don't. Red Larch is a small town. This is like artisan food for them. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Like, hey, hey, is... Some of these home style foods are pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, this is like not many places. I mean, you've got artisanal pickles out front, but people are put off by the salesman. <laughs> so. No, no, I've had like three. They're great. <laughs> um. <laughs> Right, so this is a perfect setup for this. So you guys are all hanging out, drinking, eating your food, doing whatever. So um, you guys are obviously free to uh, talk amongst each other, but I'm going to use this as a segue to get the three of you at least to discuss your background story for the fans on the internets as well as each other and myself. Because you're drinking and tongues loosen with alcohol and yada yada. So, cool. the, the floor is whoever wants it. Marin, what brought you to Fair Red Larch? Um, I left my hometown of Mithril Hall, the dwarven city up north. I've heard and... of Oh, you have? Yeah. Do you know much about it? No, just that it's called Mithra Hall. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I am a follower of Morden, and I'm on a quest to encourage good nature and harmonious existence with all races, except goblins and orcs. Uh, I fucking hate those guys. They can all burn in hell and die. <laughs> that took a turn. <laughs> wow. Damn. That escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah, it really got out of hand. Well, I mean, you know, I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, perf you know, good nature and everything because I'm trying to be nice and follow Moradin, but I mean, my, my dwarven blood just boils every time I see one. I just want to... Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that that story really took a turn. Well, you know, sorry if I got, you know, no. trying to keep it nice on, on the dinner table and everything. No, that's fine. No, I mean, you drinks, your drinks you're allowed to say what you want. God damn, God damn it. I'm a, I'm a shit, shit, ass. shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. Yeah, you're not kidding. All right, am I back? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're arguing back. in everything. You're so... <laughs> that was awesome. Anyway. Like you're arguing with yourself. <laughs> well, somebody's got to entertain him. <laughs> so, all right, so you are from the dwarven city of Mithril Hall to the north. Mithril Hall, up in the north. Correct. So, um, I guess I'll, I'll poke around and ask some questions just because... It'll help facilitate this. So, okay. you are a cleric of Morden, and yes. we already established earlier in the campaign that the reason you're here is you are part of that kind of cyclical clerics. Waterdeep sends two clerics every month or so to Red Larch to kind of keep things up and running, and then they cycle you guys back out so that nobody gets bored of being a Red Larch. Right, yeah. Um, and I've been there, what did I say, I've been there about a month, I think? Yeah, about a month. So, oh, about halfway in my tenure, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so not too much longer, and then they would, you know, if you so chose, they would send mm -hmm. you back to, uh, uh, back to Waterdeep. Um, mm -hmm. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background before you became a cleric? Yeah. Um, my family is, uh, I guess high standing with the rulers of Mithril Hall. Um, what is, it, is it an oligarchy or a monarchy? Or? It's, a, it's a monarchy. Okay. My father is the chief advisor to the Battlehammer clan, which, clan which rules uh, Mithril Hall. That's fucked up. 
Why is that fucked up? I don't know. He's just being Sean. It's... Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'm the third third born son of of my father. That's fucked up. <laughs> it kind of is actually. If you know, if you know, if you know the dwarven um, traditions, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, my 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 older my oldest brother is uh, being trained to be t- to take my father's place. Yeah. Um, and then my 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 uh, other brother, he's kind of like the backup in case something bad happens to my older brother. What's his name? Uh, Dolly. Dolly. Yes. Well, hello, Dolly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we say whenever we see him. Hello, Dolly. Yeah, that makes sense. You, yeah, you would. Yes. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. Uh, and as, as the third born, I'm kind of left in the wind. So I uh, decided to join the join the faith. That's a good good call. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, what about? Uh, well, why don't you just tell? I mean, obviously, this kind of is a little meta gamey ish. But why don't you? Tell everybody what your adventure hook is, so that you can kind of tell your party members wh- another another reason why you're kind of invested. In what's going on. Okay. Well, um, during my travels, when I when I was traveling south from Mithra Hall, I received a vision, which I believe to be from Moradin himself. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, in the in this vision, I saw an Earth prophet. Um, Doing dastardly things, and I believe that is my is my uh, now mission to stop him. What dastardly things? Killing. Just oh, killing. I thought you were gonna say like wearing white after Labor Day. Or... <laughs> no, that's cool. <laughs> I, 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 is not the black shoes with a black shoes with, with a brown belt or something ridiculous. So Creve is apparently a fashion enthusiast. Well, he knows <laughs> a thing or two. He dresses himself every day. How do you how do you know it was a vision and not just some whacked out dream from the wrong kind of mushroom? Are you saying my god's not real? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying that. <laughs> because when I when I when, you know, I feel it in my in my bones that this is a vision of from my god. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, god give bone visions a lot. I'm totally on your side, <laughs> Marion. I feel like you guys are making fun of me. No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm trying to defuse a uh, argument okay. about religion. Being oh, no, 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 no. I was just curious. I'm just fascinated by this sort of thing. Oh. Okay. No, dude, she's... You, I, I mean, I can tell. My dragonborn eyes can tell <laughs> that she's obviously fascinated by this thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I can tell. I can see that you can see that from my action <laughs> viewpoint. Yeah, see? Uh, see? That's that's a <laughs> Um all right. Well, uh I think I think that's unless you have anything else that you want to divulge to everybody, uh, I think you're you're probably pretty much all set there, Hedge. No. Okay. Yeah, man. Next up. Well, I just spilled my beans. Who who wants to wants to say next? Oh, well, Larry, you said you've been here for a little while. Why how did you get here? I was just passing through, ran out of supplies. All right, <laughs> all right, my turn. Um... <laughs> Man, this beer tastes good. Woo! <laughs> like two silver for this whole gallon? <laughs> like, how do they make a profit? I mean, they don't uh, that's just yeah. piss water to me, but for that, that price, it's not that bad. I can taste like a bat blue. <laughs> so it tastes like mangoes? It tastes like mangoes. It absolutely tastes like mangoes. Like Labat Blue does. Labat Blue tastes like mangoes? No, no it's, a, it's a joke. A thing. It's oh. fine. The, Sorry. It went over my head. It's, it's all good. Um, no, so, no, it's, it's something that you wouldn't know. Anyway. Uh, oh. So, were, were, were you seriously done, Son, or were you going <laughs> to embellish a little bit on your, your story there? Come That's on, fine. we bled together! <laughs> Open up! Open up to us! What? I just, just... That's it. I mean, I managed to swing a job at, uh... You were passing through from where to where? Yeah, where'd you come from? You are, if I may say so, shorter than most people here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm about the same height as your other friend. <laughs> no, yeah, well, you, guys, uh... you gotta keep short people. 
<laughs> huh? Huh? Hmm? No, I was just saying. Some people say things. I say things. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you saying? What are you saying? Saying that some people are shorter than other people. Is that uh, that's supposed to be amusing? Am I, am I here to amuse you? Am I a clown? Wait, wait, wait. When, did, when did you become Joe Pesci and not a well-meaning cleric? When did that happen? <laughs> no, it's not like, it's not like ha-ha funny. It's like this, this is funny funny, you know? <laughs> um, uh, all right, so we got Joe Pesci the dwarf. And uh, <laughs> so that's the thing. Kind of is. I, sure. Um, so, all right, fuck it. Who, what are you guys talking about? What's going on? Somebody tell me something. <laughs> all right. Um, you guys want to hear? Sure. I don't see many dragonborn around here. What's up? Well, uh, I was born in the faraway land of Dragonlance. Yeah, <laughs> in Clan Erdnot, as you might have guessed. Uh, what? You know, and then I didn't like it there, so I left, and I, I, I sailed for a while, and then I stopped sailing, because my ship sank, my whole crew died. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. It got dark there for a little while. Holy oh, man. Because it was nighttime when the ship sank. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, wow. But then Damn, I watched up on the, this was in the sea, and it was like cold and shit, because it gets that way up north. Uh, we were um, seven nautical miles outside of Neverwinter, uh, which are a little bit longer than regular miles, in case you didn't know, and way yeah. longer than kilometers for Lara Famia. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I washed up on shore, and... Uh, I didn't die, and uh, then I was grouchy, so I became a paladin. And... You were grouchy, so you became Who a paladin? Who do you? Yeah. That's a strange transition. Well, I was, like, mad because all my friends died, and I wanted vengeance on... Okay, so, like, all right, so we're out at sea, and it's, like, getting dark, and there was this little bag, really big storm, and uh, every time, everything we did to, like, combat the storm, it seemed like the storm had a mind of its own. And, like, so we were like, ah, oh, bring that thing down, and then it would, like, make it windy in another place. And that happened for a while. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then the ship sank. It capsized. Uh, so I want revenge on whatever it was that made that storm kill my crew. Okay. Ah, so, what, yeah, I prayed who, to Muhammad. The god of everything good and great. And, what uh, god? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Bahamut. Oh, Muhammad. Or what, what, what am I supposed to call it, Ted? Oh, it's technically, per D&D, Bahamut. But, uh, Bahamut? Oh, we can go with Bahamut, that's fine. I'm going to go with Bahamut. Yeah. Um, so the, yeah, the, platinum, Bahamut. the platinum good dragon god. So, yeah, you know. Huh. You, you got to know that as a cleric, you would know that. Oh, I know. Yeah. Of course. Uh, of course. So yeah, and then there was I was you know traveling trying to help some people, and uh, this r clan of bandits on griff riding griffins like were terrorizing some people. So I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to find them and um, murder them. Not murder them. Vengeance kill them. We need a new word for killing people for a good reason. Um, I don't know. There, there is no good. Cuddle. Uh, killing people for there is no good reason to kill people. What do you mean? I mean like you good word for killing for a good reason. Yeah, we're gonna make one up. It's cuddle. Oh, okay. We're gonna cuddle yeah, them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cuddle, cuddle <laughs> the shit out of that. Yeah, interesting. Bitch is better right. be ready to get cuddled. Bitch is gonna get cuddled. Then. Bitch is gonna get cuddled. Yeah. All right. I like it. I like it. So yeah. Okay. I guess that's. Well, hey, a toast. A cheers. A toast. Cheers. To to the onions to onions and to f fulfilling our per missions and and all that. Cause like yeah, dude, if you I mean the guy that you saw in your bone dream sounded like a dick, so I'll help you kill him if you want. And if you do that, I will help you kill these bird things. Awesome. And Lara, I will. Come buy things at your store to help. <laughs> if I make money, 
elsewhere. <laughs> Where else did you say that you saw these, um, what did you call them, hippogriffs? No, griffins. What? Hippo griffins. They don't sound anything similar. <laughs> uh, they were headed, Ted, what direction were they headed? Uh, hang on. Let's see. One in four chance to get it right. <laughs> Well, more like one in eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they were heading in a direction. Vaguely a direction. Um, I need more gold to be able to tell you specifics. <laughs> where? Uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> you're not drunk enough to. F you're not drunk enough to fool me yet. Ah, maybe next time. Wait, I make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fine. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm trying to find kind of. the... I'm stupid. Stop looking in the book and just pull it up really easily in the game. Duh. Yeah, man. Come on. What do you do? See... Well, a little bit, yeah. Um... <laughs> That's not the right map. You don't, nah. you don't remember where you saw them? Uh... Ugh. You guys are in red. Wouldn't it be an insight check? Uh, sure. Let's do that. Edge. I just felt like rolling it. Oh, uh, okay. Just like to see it. how to roll it. I guess you gotta click and drag it. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, holy crap. Looks like we're drunk. <laughs> oh, you rolled insight. Athletics. Hmm. I roll perception. Okay. What are you trying to perceive? Uh, what's happening? <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm I'm trying to proceed. They they, they, they headed east, uh, from Red Larch. All right, they headed east from Red Larch. Um, so let's just say that you lost track of them and found Red Larch, and this is why you're here. I lost track of them, uh, but I found Red Larch. So that's why I'm here. That's pretty. Yeah. Cool. Well, we can try to research and figure out where it's going on. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, Ted. Um, yeah. Do I know the Earth, the evil guy from my vision? Do I know his name and anything about him, or just do I know? Do I just know that he's a bad guy that I have to find yeah, out more Adventure information? Hook says the name. It um, says his name, but I like I would feel like I wouldn't just automatically know his name from from, it, from a vision. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and I, I get that. So uh, I'm gonna let you decide if you want to know. Like, I mean, if it, if somebody mentions his name, you know, and you know it, then that's great for you. But it, you know, I mean, you know what I'll. It makes sense for you to not know it, so let's just say you don't. So maybe okay. I'll just have somebody refer to him as the Earth Prophet, and then you'll figure it out. When the That'll make sense, because in my vision I would see him doing Earth bad. Yeah, I don't think... I think he Earth actually or... is Earth-ish, like, Earthy-looking. Like, he's got, uh, like, craggy okay. skin. So, I think he's... And then in guy. research I could probably pull out his name. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds okay. delightful. Thank Must you, sir. Do research! Yep. Magic must defeat magic. I don't know if you knew that. I, I had heard that myself. <laughs> yep. So, all right. So, you guys uh, have divulged as much as you are planning to, it seems. So, that's good. Um, and, yeah. So, with that... It's... Whoa! That's right. It's nighttime now. Oh, snap. Yeah. So oh, I'm, gonna, gosh, it's on. I'm gonna leave you guys in the tavern doing these taverny things, and we're gonna jump over to Shadron, who is at the quarry, hiding, looking to observe things that he was told by somebody from last time. Uh, Melly. Yes. The stone cutter. Yes, she had said that. People, her night workers were being run off by, or they said they were being run off, and she wasn't sure if she believed them or not. Indeed. Correct. So let's see whether or not that actually happens. I'm going to go get chips while he's looking. Okay, that sounds good. I'll be back. Sorry, there's not. I don't know if there's actually any mechanical thing written for that. So, I'm just trying. To try. I see. Yeah, it's uh. <coughs> I'm 
well, like it links up to a lot of other stuff, so I'm just trying to figure that out. I'll skip too far ahead in the book. Probably. I was gonna say I probably should have done this ahead of time, but I didn't know how far you guys were gonna get. I mean, we could have spent the whole time in the tavern just eating dinner. Uh, so <laughs> let's see. I really don't give you a lot of information. Uh, okay. Well, why don't you make me a stealth check first of all, and we'll see how well things go. Okay. Let's see. This is at disadvantage, I guess. I think it'll probably roll it automatically. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. Wow! <laughs> stealthy. Giant metal robot man is not stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Oh, like, that hurts. Yeah, that was an 18, that other one. Okay. <laughs> It's like you just like tripped on your feet and face planted. Just <laughs> <laughs> boom, rocks come crashing everywhere. <laughs> I am being stealthy. <laughs> um. Activates his headlight or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, like a flashlight <laughs> going off. <laughs> um, okay. So. Um... Wow. Might actually be some people, so that might be good. So, um, let's see how your perception is. Why don't you make me a perception? Perception. Ah. Uh, this one would <laughs> technically be a disadvantage, too, because it's at night and you can't see in the dark. Why don't you That's roll, better. Why don't you roll me another perception? Ah, oh, come <laughs> on! <laughs> I forgot to open his eyes. <laughs> Lara stole all the good rolls earlier as soon as we started. I guess so. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to say that there is... I think there's a cave. Is there a cave? Cave. Yes. Oh, man, guys. Linda and Steve are watching Grey's Anatomy, and shit's getting real. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Some bitch killed some other bitch's uh, husband, and now they're all at a dinner party? I, I don't know the context, but that's what I gleaned. Drama! Right? She just called her out on it. Like, she said, like, this bitch killed my husband, passed the peas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, Snap. man. Grey's Anatomy. Crazy gossip going on in this tavern. Fucking shit, man. <laughs> yeah, some tavern gossip, that's for sure. Yeah, man. While I was while Kreev was peeing, he overheard it in the pee thing. <laughs> trough. <laughs> I don't know if I could pee in a trough. I don't know a lot about. We're not really sure how dragonborn genitalia work. Yeah, <laughs> I might not have an Audi if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> His god Martin sent him a vision of uh, his anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> I must. Find out who killed him. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna say Penny. you see some people there, even with your oh, seven yeah. perception roll. So let's just see how many people you see. <laughs> That's the true question. Um. Okay, seven people. You see seven people. Ah, uh, six. Of which are masked. Um, let's see if the seven has anything funky going on with him. <laughs> All those are spells, magic items, enemies. Where's this guy? Okay, he's got one eye. Okay, he uses a trident. Where's this guy? Really? Ted, could you have uh, made a little bit organized? I could have, because they organized the enemies. Rather than doing it in alphabetical order, they did it in alphabetical order by elemental cult. Oh. So, like, it starts off, and then it's just not the same. Like, you're just like, oh, okay, he should be starting with a letter L, and then you're like, oh, no, wait, that's a different element. Never mind. 
So, who's this guy? Why is things so hard to find? Maybe I can just find it in there. Find it in What's the that? game. It's happening. Uh, God, why is this so difficult? It's uh, I'm looking right at the words. The words of things. The words of things. The words of things. <laughs> Are they with friends? Written by he who writes. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. Me a guy's name, but then they don't put this information down. Whatever. There's another guy. This guy looks more prominent, and his these other guys, they are all wearing stone-shaped masks, and they're all meeting, kind of out by the edge of the quarry, and you can see that uh, you know they don't really seem like they're too worried about people seeing them. So. Oh. Then I'm I'm not gonna look too worried about watching them. Uh, all right. So <laughs> my glowing flashlight head. Yes, with your glowing flashlight head and your <laughs> your one roll on stealth check. That that fantastic thing. Yeah. Yep. So okay. Uh, I have. These guys, let's see if these guys notice you. Better hope not, there's seven of them. Uh, oh, wait, I think these guys. Yeah, there we go. Uh, skills. Where are their skills? Oh, oh. Okay, well, that's <laughs> for Kreef, or for Shadron, rather. <laughs> Although Kreef looks like he's having fun in the chat as well, so. Um, We're team building. I see that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm gonna say, you, you're too far away to actually hear what they're discussing, and it is kind of in, like, even though they, they, they're out in the open, it's more of hushed whispers. And, sure thing. Uh, then, the six uh, guys in the masks, they begin to leave. And they stop momentarily and look in your direction. And then they, uh, they continue walking, and the other guy, who you'd seen there just a second ago, is gone. Awesome. So they are heading back into the town. Of Red Light. So am I. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to take the shortest route to the uh, the pub. Okay. Um, and you, I'm going to say you don't cross passes, path, passes, paths, with these guys on the way back. They're heading in a different direction. Hmm. So. Yeah, so that happened. So, uh, at this point, let's say you arrive in the midst of an interesting conversation amongst the others. Uh, so you have arrived at the helm at, uh, Isa. Oh, and by the way, what's-his-face is still there. He finally finished that drink. Oh! Xanor Thistleter has finished his drink. And he he looks... might actually be drunk enough to hustle now. Yeah. He looks, uh, he looks, you know, we realize that halfling, halfling lightweightness, he's, uh, he's looking a little tipsy. So, anyway, and, and, and uh, Shadron arrives at the helm of Pad Hyphen as well. Oh! <laughs> Weird Shadron! Way. Come sit down! I yell it because we're, you know, intoxicated. Yeah, sure, you can see that. totally from, drunk. From the, from not. the chat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will go and sit down, but... 
Otherwise, what they do is wait. They soak it in cold water, and then put um, flour on it, and then put it in boiling oil. It's delicious. No, thank you. Don't. I feel eat. like you didn't mean that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> feel like you were cognizant of my being a steel skeleton without digestive organs. I'm just being polite, bro. So I'm I think we're at an impasse of, uh, yeah. Yeah, this we're all being polite. You're being rude. Yeah. Well, good. he doesn't eat. And, uh, he doesn't eat and drink, man. He doesn't. He's not or, uh, organic in any way. Why? Well, still offering him some of my onion thing. I guess. I said light. No, and thank you. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Yeah, I, I mean, this is all on... You guys are carrying this story. You guys are all there. I'm not... I, I, I mean, I could, you know, divine intervention stuff, but I feel like that's just... No. It. So, Shadron, you you really don't need to... How, how do you move? Where's your energy? Like, what do you use for energy, then? Are you still empowered? No. And... No. But, Thanks for asking. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> hmm. He he came to be through dwarven making and magic. What? How do you know that? Cause I'm a dwarf, bro. Dragon blood, but sure. Um. Can anyone lend me five gold? Why? Because um, there's a dude over there where if I give him 10 gold, he's going to give me a lead on some weird shit going on in town, and maybe um, we could get some money out of it. It's an investment. It, Why is his lead so expensive? I don't know. Hold the crap. Secret. <laughs> Call him <laughs> over here. I mean, he's pretty drunk. We should probably go over to him. I jump off the table and go run over to the friend. Okay. <laughs> so you reach slightly inebriated Stan or uh, Thistle Hair and the carpenter from the wagon shop, which, you know, he was able to discern from him last time. So, um, and he... He works at the wagon shop. He's, like, rocking back and forth on his stool, holding his empty mug upside down and looking in it. <laughs> With a sad look on his face. So, that is what's going on. And he sees you come over, and he smiles, a big smile, and he falls off his stool. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe, I, um, maybe we should get our lead from him tomorrow. <laughs> and he hears you say that, and he says, No! Your gold is good now as it is tomorrow. I need right. money... Because I'm worried that if somebody hears that I told you this, which, you gotta be quiet, so shh. <laughs> if somebody hears that I tell you this, my <laughs> job could be in trouble, and I need the 10 gold as an insurance policy. I help pick him up off the floor. He thanks you, and he pats you, like, on your face. <laughs> like, on your nose. <laughs> like, he's, like, he's good. I like you. You're good. Am I still holding him up? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Stanner. Yes. How about nine gold, and I'll get you another beer. Sold! <laughs> Alright, guys. Now I only need three gold. <laughs> One from each of you, and a beer, and uh, I'll pay you back. <laughs> sure. Okay. Alright. Dr. Roboto? <laughs> I'm not sure I see the value in this. He's drunk. Beyond the point of recall. You don't know what I'm drunk beyond, robot man. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll... You know what? No, I have 25 silver, so I'll take care of the other... No, no you know, I think that because he's inebriated and may poorly recall the events he's going to not tell us for free 
we should probably withhold an extra gold for uh, quality assurance purposes. I don't know what that you guy's saying. <laughs> man, that's up, man. No, I don't man, know man what, what that metal guy is saying, but all them big words sound complicated. So, <laughs> are you guys getting me a drink or what? Yes. I yes. go over and pour him from our keg, and with the gold each from Lara and Mary, yep. I give him... You know what? Eight gold and ten silver. I'll tell you what. Why don't you uh, make me a sleight of hand check? Oh, all right. I'm not good at that. No, maybe Lara could do it. She's better at that. Yeah. Uh, Lara, do you that. Prob he's drunk, so you could probably, using clever deftness of a rogue's hands, with like that, that roll, be like, yeah, here's ten gold, and he won't know any different. Because he's Woo! so drunk. So, he Team says... Yep, that looks like ten gold to me. You know it, sir. And he <laughs> says, "Okay, so everybody, just get real close. This is a secret." Oh, he I got real close to hear the secret. And he goes, "So my boss, <laughs> Ilmeth Whalever, there's a hidden tunnel in the back of where he works. And he doesn't know that I know that he's got it." And he just, he leaves, I'm the woodcarver, and he owns a wagon shop, and I'm slaving away, making wagons all day. And then I see him just walk off, and he just disappears into this tunnel. And he thinks that I'm just going to sit up front and do all this work. Oh, he goes and plays in his secret tunnel? Well, forget that, man. I'm going to out him to you guys and also have another drink. And then he two-handed grabs his mug and he's drinking out of it. Secret and, tunnel! Yep. Through the he, mountain. He puts down his mug and he goes, Oh yeah, I forgot. There's, I've seen other people go in there too. He must be having a party in there without and, me. And he didn't invite you? I'm great at parties. You seem delightful. I am the best, sir. I like you too now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else does he say, though? Uh, but all those people, they, when they sneak in there, it's only yeah. at night when I'm closing up. What? It's and, definitely and a And everybody yeah. else, it must be a costume party. Because everybody's what? wearing masks. What kind of masks? I don't know, but they got hoods and masks. And I like costumes. I'm a fun guy. I could party. You could party with the best of them. I damn right. Yeah. Um. Yes, you can. You can make another sleight of hand check to try to take your money back. Okay. Ugh. I'm fumble this time. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let's see. Uh... Just pretend you were trying to grab his butt or something. Well, I am holding him up, so I can no, pull my way out of it. No, uh, you're able to do so because he is drunk and at disadvantage. So, you were able to pocket your money back from Stanor, and he is completely unaware. Well, that means I'm up 8.1. Well, they don't know that you took the money back. Actually, you know what? What's, I know. Uh, why don't you guys make me perception roll? You know what? What's your passive perception? Let's find out. Oh, all of us? Um, well, no, I'm just going to say you, because uh, you guys... The ones that gave the money, and I'm gonna say Creve is a little too engaged. With him. Thirteen. So, alrighty. Uh, uh, where is past perception? Um, it's just your perception score plus ten. Yeah, it's on oh. the front there. So I'm gonna say that. Uh, yeah, I mean, based on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that Marin sees you take it. Whether he says anything to you or not. Is up to him, but he saw you pocket the gold from his, the money that was just handed over to him. So, that's neither here nor there. You guys can square up on that later. But, um, but yeah, he uh, so he says that's all I know. I just, I just want to party. I want to have costume fun. But I also you want to have beer, and he keeps drinking his beer. 
All right, man. It was a good talk. Thank you for telling us. We're gonna leave you to your beer. Is that cool? That's cool. You guys are cool. I'm gonna shuffle him back to the table. He says, "You're pretty. I like you." And he sits down on his chair. Aww. And goes, Why aren't you just the cutest little thing? And I bop his nose. Aww. And he just gets all red in the face and giggly, and he hides his face in his beer cup. And, then, and I turn around and I tail it away from the table. All right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so you've got that information from Stanor now. Um, and that all happened. And you have your gold back. You currently are in possession of, what was it, eight gold? Whatever, nine gold. Whatever it was, eight gold, yeah. It was eight gold, yeah. Eight gold so and you have eight gold from, uh, from his pocket. So, there you go. Um, now what? Um, so it seems to me, we got two choices. Back. We gotta head back to the table. Yeah, I thought we're at the table. So you okay. will say you're back at the table. We're at the table. So it seems to me we got two choices. We'll go in there now and join a costume party. Or mm -hmm. wait until morning and then go check out that tunnel. When there aren't people in the costume down there. Um, there is that message from the tree. I think it might be a little bit prudent to maybe check it out in the morning. Do a little research first. On what? The, uh, oh? you, said, you said the, um, the message from the, uh, the tree, right? Oh. Yeah. What was the, what was the tree message? Um... The, the weathered human skull with the air and sock and the black parchment that's actually dyed human skin. Uh, the last laugh, you'll be next from Valklander. I'm really curious what the, this Valklander is. Well, I mean, who? I don't think we could find that out tonight. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> um, so, just. So, yeah, you guys know that there's the costume party okay. happening at, uh, beneath the wagon works there. The uh, back down. Uh, 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 and, uh... I say we go to the secret tunnel. I think we should probably wait. And investigate this further. How? I'll tell you why. It's a, it's a secret tunnel. How are we going to investigate it? <laughs> well, the other the other oh. part of it is it, from what you know, I'll just say because some of you have lived in the town and been around. That, I mean, it is a wagon shop, and if you were to try to get to, presumably, you don't know what you don't know where the secret tunnel is. You know that there is one, um, but if you were to go there in the daylight, you're not going to be able to just walk in and like sneakily find a secret tunnel. Without oh. somebody knowing that, like, without the guy who runs the place or Stanner, find like seeing you guys looking for the tunnel in the morning, because it's not a very big shop. I mean, okay. here's my here's my thinking of it. If he remembers that he told us tonight, and he feels bad about it tomorrow, he might tell his boss that we know about it, and then our window has closed or our secret tunnel has closed. Hmm. I don't right. know up. So, so what did he tell just, you? I'm going to come out and say that you guys are not tunnel. drunk enough to be at any kind of disadvantage for... Oh, well, that fixes a lot of things. Yeah, you guys, are, <laughs> you guys have had drink, but it's more... You're also adventurers, so like I feel like they're a hardier group yeah. than the average person. So Yeah, I got a couple of us. Yeah. All of us Some sharing of a gallon still remaining. Yeah, 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 you guys and, drink all of it. And you shared the yeah, cup and, with Stanner. Yeah. So and I'm stone sober. Yes. So, so yeah, you guys, but you guys are fine. No, you're metal sober. You're metal sober. Yeah. We have a DD be, for life now. There could be stone involved. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, if you guys, would you guys want to investigate the secret tunnel? Is that what's going on? Uh, I vote yes. Well, I see your I, points. I, I can see like, your point. I'm guessing, uh, Creve and Lara came over and told us what, what the guy was saying. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm he he, he, wasn't, exactly, he wasn't exactly quiet. So, he yelled no. at my ear. 
Yeah. Oh, they were pretty engrossed in their own little conversation. That's true. That is true. Um, well, I'd like to to voice some caution. You mentioned men in masks, and during one of my investigations recently, I have counted at least seven individuals in masks around the town. And from what I've heard, part of why I was investigating, they have been causing people some discomfort with their presence. So mm. this whole sneaky bit might turn into a big party of knives and various other pointy implements. Yeah, Should but he was trying to get the, the town guards involved? Well, we really don't have anything to go on. Anything, it, this wouldn't be a problem. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be in this town very long to figure that much out. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, when did you figure this out? There are seven men in masks. You know why I wasn't here when you no, were all here? Say, you just walked away. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was investigating that. While you came here to drink. Which By is yourself. fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, um, I think we can take him. I have a feeling uh, we're gonna have to leave town if this goes sour. I mean, or you then again, it isn't exactly quiet either. So, might as well get what little surprise we have left then. Let's do it. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Let's rage it up. So, uh, All right. Let's pull up a map. I can talk. <laughs> If we get in trouble, I could try to talk to the mayor and see if we can, you know, not get us in trouble. Couldn't think of a word. I would appreciate that. All right. So on the map, I just threw up the map, and I think I shared it with you guys, maybe. Where is it? Maybe not. Uh, oh, wait. Here you go. The uh, red large share, share, yeah, there map. It there it is. There it is. Yeah, Woohoo! So the wagon works is 16. On the map, you guys don't have to leave yourself there. This is just more for your own reference. You guys are at three. That's the helm. You guys yep. are going to the wagon works. That is sixteen. Um, Not that far. So. We're gonna see the wagon, the wagon, the wagon. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Let me just uh, let me just figure out exactly what happens. Well, do you need to look up the next stuff? Should should we take a break? We can take a break if you guys want. Whichever. I've got. Yeah. If you need, do you need to take a break? I do. Take. Let's take. Let's take. Uh, let's take a five Not minute long. break, and I'll recoup, and Kay. we'll be good to go. So, Kay. ooh, break time. All right. Everybody go pee. What? Uh, sure. Okay. During this break, do you actually pause the the live feed? I d- I don't have it paused now. I I tip. I don't have. I had something set up, but it's on my other computer where I would throw up like a "We'll be right back" image and then like mute everybody. Oh, that's cool. But I don't actually have that. Oh, okay. Uh, set up right now. So. Ooh. Um. So hedge. Yeah, so um <clears throat> uh, yesterday I was asked by the director for the play that I'm the high school play I'm in. Mm-hmm. Uh if I'm interested in chaperoning a high school theater camp weekend. The hell is that? Uh in it's like the second weekend in January. There's like this it's I think it's like the New York State theater education arts or something like that uh-huh. um, and yeah it's like this big weekend where 700 high school drama kids um, get together and learn about acting and they need chaperones so I was asked if I wanted a chaperone wow it sounds that sounds interesting it's, interesting is a good way to put it mm-hmm yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna do it. Well, I mean, are are you? Do you have you have fun hanging out with them? Um, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. They're cool kids, but again, they're kids, you know. Right. Yeah. Like we're not. I mean, I like them. They're they're nice kids, but like we're not buds. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang out with them outside of. Well. Well, some of them. That's it, right there. If you're some not gonna them. hang out with them outside, then. If you, it, it, I think it answers the question. If you feel uncomfortable, but then then don't go. That's a good point. Thanks, Edge. Yeah. That's what I'm here for, man. I'm, I'm like a vice guru. You are like <laughs> a vice guru. You're just like that. Yep. Yeah. That's how you say it, too. Yeah, that's how I said it. Hmm. Uh, Ted, did oh, you see you... the the James things? I, I've, I've been keeping track. Yeah. 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 I wish Nick loved me like he loves Cat. No, you don't. No. I want him to write a song to me about how I can eat a dick. What? <laughs> yeah, well, did you see yeah. Claire comment on that? Yeah. Yeah. I totally missed, totally missed it. Um, uh, our buddies posted something on Facebook, and it was the, uh, this dude's his wife name is Cat. I just sang a 20 minute song to Cat about how she could eat a dick. It was romantic. <laughs> I would offer a dick girl, please know that it's true. That dick that I offer, or that dick that you're eating, it's only for you. <laughs> she was not Who pleased. Who is this guy? This is a friend of ours. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she was not pleased, and then Claire responds with, Ted Sakura, why don't you love me like this? <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> you better watch what you wish for. That's what I'm saying. To make uh, oh, and apparently uh, Scott checks your butt, Sean. Yes, I do. Uh, and he gets a 10, 10, so I like so, it. So you enjoy it. I enjoy him checking my butt. Yeah, apparently. Um, this is an interesting, interesting Facebook group. This is much different than the other group. <laughs> yeah. Already. <laughs> um, so, I'm just looking at what you guys are about to get yourselves into. So that's fun. Oh, before we continue, was it okay that what, what, what I was talking to Shadron about on the on the chat? I'm gonna be totally honest. Didn't even look at it, so I'm okay. gonna say yes. Okay. Unless that's a bad thing. I, I just mentioned that no. that I mentioned that dwarves ages yeah, ago created yeah, created yeah. Warforged. Whatever, whatever. Okay. I'm I'm pretty. I think we talked about that. I just wanted to make sure I'm that. I'm pretty loosey goosey. Okay. We had no. What's up? We hadn't noticed. Oh, well, okay. Well, I mean, I could be a little more strict about it. No. If, you, if that's what you want, bring no. down the hammer. No. Yeah. And, and his fist is not the hammer. <laughs> the hammer. Is it his knee? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, maybe you... I, you know what? I get, we got all sorts of weird Facebook conversations going on. I don't, I don't know. The session. hammer is his penis. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! Yeah. I'll bring down the hammer. I already got that reference. Captain thing. Hammer. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, so I'm just casually looking at what you guys are supposed to be doing. And, like, the first line is, like, so after they did this other thing that they didn't do and reach level two, then they can do this. Oh, oh. cool. So let's hey, do this other thing. Two. Make us level two. Uh, no, I'm not gonna just give that to you. You'd also miss out on some pretty sweet treasure. Um, then well. let's go do that. So, I mean, I will... I, again, this is obviously all out-of-game stuff, but I don't... You could probably make it through, but, uh, like, just the extra health that you have at level 2 is big. Yeah. The, the extra spells and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, smiting oh, and a fighting style. That, yeah, that you actually become useful at level two. Yeah. <laughs> because paladins suck at level one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the worst level in gaming, I think, in this game. Of anything. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so that's a thing. Um, well, let's see. How can I... Thank you for more... Zach. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, but thank you for following. We really appreciate it. Um, so how can I get you guys to go to the other place? Without... Random encounters! Um, idea. Sure. 
a trail of candy. <laughs> I pick one up and eat it and say, ooh, piece of candy. No, it's only ooh. only if Marin does it. Ooh, piece of candy. Because oh, piece of candy. He used to do this all the time when we were what? growing up. Like it was, my, it was my text message thing when you texted me. It used to say, ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> We're gonna have Timmy draw you as James Woods in like a Family Guy style picking up candy, like we did when we put you on the Bill Cosby sweater one. That was a pretty yeah, too. yeah. That was uh, good. Um, right, so you guys, you know what? Let's just oh, got it done. Creve being a paladin, yes. Being someone that's in direct contact with a god, yes. And the fact that I am that god, Bahamut or whatever. Um, um, what am I, yeah. chopped liver? Uh, fine, more than two. Yeah! Sure. You already got a god vision. I can't, <laughs> can't have one god vision? <laughs> yeah, you know what? This is for Kreev. Oh, Kreev Creep. is the only one that talked to, uh, what's his face? Grog, or Grump, or Grund, Pickle whatever his name was. Grund. Grund, and he told yeah, you about the kids. The kids! Remember them? Yeah! Um, the Taylor's Not kids. Not at all. <laughs> The, the Taylor's kids, yes. They were exactly. playing with a dwarf, and he said, "Stay away, because there be plagues about." Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say bah Bahamut, Bahamut, however you want to say it, gives you this as you're about to leave the tavern to head towards the wagon smith. You get this strong divine urge that says, "Those children might be in trouble." Oh shit, guys! There are kids that might be in trouble. Follow me. What? Yeah, you heard me go. Come on. How do you know this? Because of hugging Bahamut. <laughs> I feel like I'm just being, like, swept along. I'm like, okay with that. that. That's good like, for me. Broom is just like, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Um, Piece of candy. Good, good <laughs> you know what? Um, because of this, everybody, you can add one piece of candy to your inventory. I eat my piece of candy. <laughs> This piece of candy is divine candy, and it gives you the ability to get advantage on the next saving throw that you are encounter. I ate my piece of candy. You have that now. If anybody else eats their candy or whenever they choose to eat it, they will have advantage on their next saving throw. So, there you piece go. of advantage candy. Piece of advantage candy. It's actually called Advantage. That's the brand of the candy. Um, Ooh. Yeah. It's I'll called, eat that candy. Yeah, it's called DM's Advantage. It's uh, a <laughs> very rare candy. Yeah. But when you get it, yeah, you know that it's good stuff. Yeah. And it tastes like whatever your favorite candy is. Mike and Ike's. <laughs> I guess Grease tastes like Mike and Ike's. Grease tastes like Mike and Ike's. Uh -huh. uh, it's a handful, but there's got to be at least one yellow in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. <sighs> we didn't even know you left. Sorry, I had my <laughs> my son woke up. I had to run and get the monitor. Gotcha. Mm. Um, okay, so you are running to where the children had mentioned they had seen the dwarf. Yes. And you actually, as you're about to get to this area, which is Lance Rock, for those of you who've been following along, which is to the northwest, you see... In the middle of the road, both of the children are sleepwalking towards this area. What? Yep. Oh. Does anyone have magic that uh, wakes them up? I what can. What the heck is going on? Why are nope. we running? Because these kids are in danger. Fist. <laughs> <laughs> magic <laughs> missile. That'll yeah. wake up. <laughs> we got another baby killer on our hands. Oh no! God damn it. Um, I thought we were done. Just waking them up. We no, can just not, like try not. to. Grab them. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say hedge. Your. Let me just check. What can I roll? Do I roll like a, a arcane check or something? How about a medicine check. Oh man. The cantrips do you have? You know what? I'm gonna let your spare the dying cantrip, because sleepwalking is sometimes referred to in ancient times as the walking death that Whoa! spare the dying will wake these children up unharmed. We've encountered the walking dead. Oh, not that shit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, do I... Do I just, it do, it's, you do it. Just they do it. Up. Oh, I touched the living creature. Okay. Yes, so they are now awake. And terrified and have no idea what's going on. Uh, Larry, talk to these kids. <laughs> what? What? Why me? 
Because of their size. Yeah. <laughs> They're all intimidating. It's Just dragon and robot and... Yeah, I'm a seven-foot dragon and all, yeah, man. Yeah, you got a dragon man, shit. a metal skeleton, and a burly dwarf. <laughs> and then, like, a cute little halfling with an 18 charisma, which basically, by definition, means that you're very pretty. So. I have a bear on my head. <laughs> No, you don't. It's still in the shop. Oh, you haven't gone to pick that up yet. <laughs> it hasn't been two days yet. Cool. I forgot, but I can't wait. I can't wait yeah. to put a bear on my head. So okay. yeah, ask him about. Objectively, where... I like go up to them and calm down, calm down. They are. They're you. scared. They're clinging to one another, and they look. Their eyes are just big and wide, darting left and right, and they have no idea what's going on, and they. They are terrified because they remember the scary dwarf who told them to stay away, and they have no idea why they would come back to this place. And uh, they're just really scared, and they just want to go. Are home. they babbling all this to me? Yes, in okay. rapid fire child speak, which, as a halfling and being your character who speaks relatively fast as a normal thing, you can completely understand it 100%. <laughs> and. They just say, like, they know the way home because they've grown up here their whole lives. Again, still in children babble speak. I'm just not going to try to do that. Um, but they just don't know which way to go because they, they, they're just completely lost. Um, easy, easy. It's okay. It's okay. Can you just... What's the scary dwarf? Can you tell me about the square, scary dwarf? They say that there was this grisly-looking dwarven prospectory guy who came out and said you best stay away from here because there be plagues about and, you know they're children so obviously when they think about this it's been exacerbated crazy and it's like right. you know it's probably was just like some dwarf and he was just like kids this is dangerous just don't come <laughs> over here and they're like oh my god it's this crazy guy <laughs> um Okay, okay. Well, I'd point them in the direction of Red Lart, and I'd tell them that the town is that away. And they see, and you see, like, a look of recognition, and they can, like, now, through their tears of, of just scared tears, have slightly dried up, and they can see the lights of the town off in the distance, and just, like, instant hope watches over their faces. And they're, like, jumping up and down, and they're, like... Come on! And they run, and they go running back to the town. And in your heart, Creve, you know from Bahamut that they make it there safely. Guys, they're gonna be okay. Trust me. Good, I'm scared. Okay. I relay at half speed so that they will understand <laughs> everything the kids told me. Thank you. That makes it so much better. <laughs> uh, oh, and, and, and Creve, by the way, yes... It is still a thing, and you did it right. I win! <laughs> um, so, but now, you have stumbled upon this area known as Lance Rock. A narrow, 25-foot menhir of bare gray rock that just eastward at a 60-degree angle. There's actually a map for that, so I'm going to put that in there. I wonder what it is about this rock that what caused them to come here and why the dwarf was shooing people away. It sounds is, is this the Lance Rock you were telling me about last time, Marin, when I asked for directions before we went and dealt with the bandits? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And this is also the one that you um, you heard about as well from. Uh, Kaylee. Yep. Yes. I heard from the innkeeper Kaylee that there have been elemental disturbances around this area. Mm, so I we should investigate. Was... We should. All right, let's do it. All right. I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just yeah. trying to. Uh, what's it called? Um, damn, is that reveal? Rearrange. Uh, no, I've got. I'm just trying to get the map to zoom out. Because um, it's like really hardcore zoomed in right now. Did you hit minus? There is no minus. Shift Did you use minus. your um use your wheel? It only goes out so far. Yeah, you can't go any smaller. Yeah. All right. So it's fine. Let's just zoom down 
here. I'm giving you guys the DM map. Oops. Mm -hmm. Probably scroll this to uh, not be over right of the. Uh, Mm. The, uh, player what people are seeing on the stream here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Got it. Got it, guys. It's all good. Of course, Marin's the only one who can see with shit right now. Did you guys all have Am I the only one with dark vision? Yeah, you yeah. are yep. the only one with dark vision. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, sharing share sheet. Loading, loading, loading. Liking death, thank you for the subscription. We appreciate it. Hopefully there will be no Viking deaths here. <laughs> so you are a Viking, in which case that would be fantastic. Yeah. So there we go. Now you guys because can see. Sorry. Oh, hello. That's also true. That's where you want to end up. So. But only if you do a good job. Or Vanaheim. Yeah, that's also true. That's loading, also true. loading, loading. So you guys are all. Did you guys get into the map? Fine. It's still it loading. It's loading. Oh, okay. It's using hamsters to is there... give us the, the individual bites. Gotcha. That is the data of the map. Gotcha. Hamster bites are pretty small. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very true. Um, let me get your guys' tokens. There we go. It's gotta be an easier way to do this. But... I know there, for a fact, I know there's a way where you can get the tokens to snap to the grid. So, let me know when you guys are loaded in. You're loading for me. Yeah, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it is really weird. Well, I still can't even pull up my own quest it's on the quest list. Uh, it won't connect to the um that module. Hmm. Just that's to be you know on deck. So because it won't load up, I don't remember. Oh, was it in the library? Oh, well, the grid is there. Okay. Um. No, I've got part of the map now. Okay, you should only have part of the map. I have it set up ah. so that you guys can only see part of the map because you obviously aren't in this area yet. So I'm going to reveal it to you. Oh, there it is. Okay, I had to scroll down. I seize it! Whoop! Uh, and then I nearly threw my book with away. Okay, so now you guys should see that L1, right? You should see that? I don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see L1. <laughs> Mine says loading. Uh, Viking Death, I just saw your comment. Um, we are playing, it's Fantasy Grounds. Unfortunately, just because of the nature of this, um, I, uh, you guys can't see the map. Um, it's it's just a little because it's always constantly moving around the maps in the way this game is set up. If I had like a third monitor, like a big, like a 55 inch monitor, I think uh, we'd be all set. So I just have the kind of the chat window going in the middle, and we're kind of just doing for you guys. It's theater of the mind for them; they can actually you, see it. Do you have an alternate input on your TV you could use? Yeah, I, I might be able to do it. It's just like I gotta get it. I also don't have that much, only so much room in the stream overlay to like get. Yeah, you you, you can't do it like right now either. No, no, no. But yeah, I, I might be able to in the future. It's also tricky though because like they would literally see everything, you know. <laughs> um, um, I'll just theater of the mind it. I mean, this is taking forever. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to get anything anywhere. Wait, you're not even in? No, it just says loading. Really? Hmm. Head, are you in? Uh, oh, sorry, I, I forgot I, I muted I my microphone. Yeah. I was talking and I 
Yeah, it's fine. Are you, are you loaded in? Yeah, I see L1 mountains in front of us. We're standing in the forest. Okay. And for whatever reason, Sean can't see. So, okay. So, anyway. Um, here you go. So, uh, the cave mouth opens into darkness from which a breeze blows, carrying the faint odor of death. Inside is a natural cave. It's worn slowly uneven. The passage leads to the west, narrowing as it proceeds. Assume that you guys, well, that's what you yeah. see. I'm gonna move into the cave. The compass is totally wrong. Yeah, yeah. I hate that they do that, but. Oh, no, I, 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 yeah, no, I get what it means by the West now. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah, that's still dumb, but. Um, okay, so. Um, so. Who hit? What's up? Um, anyone can see in the dark, or am I the only one with dark vision? You. Okay. So everybody else would have to light a torch. I light a torch. Okay. That's mm -hmm. my eyes. Okay. All right. So um, I assume you guys, you guys should be able to have free range to move your pieces around, right? Yeah. Okay. Just confirming that that's a thing. Okay. Yeah, you guys have free range. We. So all right. Um. So, if you guys move into the cave there. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. A body is sprawled on the floor, 60 feet into the passage. Uh, so, actually, you'd have to move. I told you that a little bit early, so I'm going to move you in here, Hedge. There you go. <laughs> Boom. So, the corpse of a human male is sprawled here on its back. It wears only leather breeches. Um, what? Search the, search around the area. Remember, nobody. Well, oh, oh, yeah, I guess uh, Kreev has a torch. I will add a torch. We'll move. But in. he's like way back there. Well, he can't move his piece. Cause I he, can't move my piece. I can't see the map. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, not right. in. Uh, oh, okay. So he's now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I how far? Move. How far in is the is the dead body? It is. Make like a little X on the on the map or something. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see. Let's right here. Well, all right, maybe not. Enter drawing mode. All right here. <laughs> yeah. I see the freaky spider. I see the freaky spider. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. That's where the dead body is. Okay. Um, if anybody can see that, I point that out and say there's a dead body there, half naked. All right. Um, is there anything around it? Shirtless right, so clock is not properly observed in this cave. <laughs> there, yeah, it's just there is nothing around it. It's just sprawled out, wearing just pants. All right, uh, um, let's go over there and see how he died. Yeah, Should we let's walk up there. Hey, go up beside it. Okay. I'm peering at it. I'm gonna stand back. Of course you are. <laughs> war, war tricks. I know what's going on. I'm poking at it. With a stick. Oops. <laughs> do that. With my metal stick. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if they had a place for. Ah, it's a zombie. It animates. Roll for initiative. Ah, damn it! Son of a bitch. It's Called a it. zombie. It'll be fine. Oh, we won't be fine. Oh god. <laughs> you guys are on fire today. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, those are awful rolls. <laughs> Dunce wants to be a zombie. <laughs> Damn it, I can't turn him. Not yet. You gotta be level two for that. <laughs> Damn you, level one. 
Uh, Alright, so Shadron attacks the zombie he hits and rolls for damage. Wow. The zombie has moderate damage. Uh, My uh, reflexes are getting better. There you go. Uh, so if you can end that. So... Right. Hit the button. Yep. Boop. Okay. Stab it, oh. little one. <laughs> <laughs> I like the direction. Kill it. Kill it, stab it in the brain. Um, All I right, believe you if you want to activate your sneak attack stuff, because you do have an ally within five feet, since Karen moved up with you, you would have sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. do I still have a... I have advantage then? Uh, no, it's just one of the things that... Sneak attack is either when you have advantage, or if there's an enemy, an ally of yours within five feet of the enemy you're attacking. Okay. So... Uh, I remember. There we go. Oops. You gotta roll the hit first. I also double click it. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Roll the hit and I'll get rid of the second one. There we go. Okay. And I gotta yep. target zombie. Mm -hmm. And then roll the hit. Hit! Okay. Roll the damage. Okay, so sneak attack. Yep, you double. Yeah. You, you double double. What? You had it once. I only clicked it once! I'll let you keep the six, and uh, we'll say the zombie, zombie died. Zombie's dead. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I only clicked it once! I was very <laughs> careful to only click it once! But you already had it up there already. I didn't see it up there, I'm sorry. That's okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. I approached the body and retrieved my arrow. your arrow back and everything is yeah fine. and i don't think can i add this as a quest i can perfect done okay so as you continue into the cave uh a round high ceiling cave opens here that's l2 by the way it is a okay. narrow exit one leading north and the other to the south let's just pretend that this is oriented like a normal map and it's west and east Okay. Uh, a flat boulder sits in the center of the cave. It has it's about six feet across, eight feet long, and three feet high. Dark stains color its top. Oh, good, an altar. Um. Well. So. I'm following Marin, but I'm kind of blind. Okay. Uh. Is Creep following? You know all? it. Yeah. Let's say he is. Sure. Okay. All right, I'm going to need uh, both uh, Marin and Lara to make me dexterity saving throws. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, skills. Uh, it would oh, just no. be the save on the front. Nice. Boom. Uh, yeah, 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 boom. So you both, uh, let's see, you both pass the save, and you take... Three uh, bludgeoning damage from rocks that fell on you from up above. Oh man! Oh, no. and, look, and looking up, since you can see in the dark, Marin, you see two zombies up on the ledge that dropped rocks. On you guys. Zombies attacking us from above. Kill them! Kill them dead. Uh, well, I'm gonna add these into the combat tracker, and then we will. Again. Um, I I probably can. I, sorry, I missed it. Could I see them or uh, not? Well, you can right. In, um, let's see. You can now because immediately after dropping the rocks on you, they leapt off the cliff. Okay. And they hit the ground and they each take damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> jumping off of a cliff. <laughs> this guy. They're dead. And this guy. <laughs> well, they both took the same amount of damage. Aw, uh, Widow One does not like that. No. Um, all right, so it's because guys... he's the evil mastermind. Wow, Marin's really hurting. No, that's the initiative. Never mind. Uh, so you guys all rolled for initiative. Uh, everyone but Marin. Oh, okay. If you could call to a roll. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh, oops. 
Oops, don't do that. Let me just roll for the enemies as well. Where are the zombies at? Uh, I'll add them on in a second. They're right in your face. Oh, well, yeah, they are actually. But... <laughs> We got a lot of dice flying around, Creve. Yeah, that's quiet. Mm, quiet. Mm. So, uh, Lara, you're actually, it's not stuck on you for whatever reason, but you're first. Okay. So you are, again, you would have sneak attack on either one since they land on either side of Marin. Okay. Uh... And then, doo -doo -doo. I gotta roll the hit first, right? Yes. Hit. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, they don't one, click. one click. Oh, yep, you're good. <laughs> I'll roll your damage. There you go. You knocked that zombie into critical condition. And next nice. It goes to Mary. And then I press that button. Alright. I will target this guy. And hit him in the face. Do it. You won't. No, I'm, I'm going to. No, you won't. Natural 20! Oh, ah, shit. Oh. His head explodes like a rotten melon. <laughs> Let's see what the damage is. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get a critical on the critical hit table. You just got a regular crit. Nothing special. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so go ahead and uh, roll your damage. So I'm talking about zombie as your warhammer comes down, as if guided by Moradin himself. Smushes that Told zombie's you my God, head really. right down through the bottom, out the zombie's ass, and it's just gone. <laughs> Dead zombie. I'm really hoping. Can, can I dodge behind him, um, Marin, so that I don't get splashed? Oh, I'm not a vindictive <laughs> DM. That doesn't happen. Oh, thank you. Mean, bud. <laughs> uh, and if you can just end your turn. Ted. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Creve. Right. I'm gonna move you up so you can hit the remaining guy here. Um, how far away was I before you moved me up? Ten feet. Alright, I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna throw my spear at him. Okay. Da da da. Da 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 da. Hit. What do we got? Shaboom! Two. Moderate nice. Ah, uh, and then if you just end it your turn, be so oh, kind. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Shadron is. I will snap a shot at the last zombie here. Let's see what you do. Natural twenty. Oh, wow. and he gets a critical hit on the critical hit table. Knockout blow. In addition to a critical hit damage, the target is unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> It also has Word. one health left, so I'm just going to say that uh, anybody could just easily kill that. So, I mean, we'll just, it's dead. The zombie's dead. There's, it, it knocked the zombie unconscious. It's, you know, it is what I it twist is. twist the arrow as I retrieve it to, yeah, to make just, the wound worse. <laughs> that's, that's fine by me. Um, I mean, it's not like you can interrogate a zombie. Who do you work for? <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so throw this into the tracker as well. Boom, experience for you guys as well. So, okay, now you've got the path leading to the east and the path leading to the west. Hedge, if you move up, you can see, I'm going to say you can see down these paths because of your dark vision. So, Word. Let's, uh, oh, let me put it on so I can mess with the layer here. Does any one of you guys know the intricacies of traps and how they work? I don't even know what intricacies mean. Sorry, big word. How <laughs> things work. Do I know how traps work? 
Yes. No. Larry, you said you did? Anything. Yeah. Uh, how would you feel comfortable leading and checking to make sure we are not activating any said traps? Um, well, I'll need a uh, creep to be nearby so I can actually see. Yeah. Creep holds her hand or something. I'll stand right next to you. Oh no, but I need the I need the light. I'm not doing right, this. I'll stand light. right behind you. What do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> Just give the small person the torch. No, I need both hands. All right. So. As Someone could hold the torch after. As you move down this hallway here, carefully keeping an eye out for traps, uh, <laughs> you can move down towards L3 there. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. I'll, we'll do that then. Oh, I'm sorry. I, are we going the I, other I, way? My bad. Well, no, that's fine. We can go this way. Uh, motionless humanoid figures dressed in dirty clothes or scraps of armor are propped against the walls of this cave. Some are little more than skeletons with wisps of hair and skin stretched tightly over their bones. Others are fresher. A few old short swords lie on the rust, uh, dusty floor. Um, the oh. caverns are kind of lined with corpses. I think we might need this torch down here. Just considering saying. our last experience with torches, there or are corpses. About 12, Twelve corpses in this room. Seven are skeletal. Five look fresher. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Try lighting Do one I on see fire. anything? Yeah. Um, the other, there's, there's a couple of, like I said, rusty short swords on the ground. Um, yeah. I'm curious. Would our are, are zombies or whatever animated dead things considered magical? Um, indefinite. Uh, um, how so? Like, if I were to cast detect magic, would they light up? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, the, if, if they were. Yeah, I mean, if they were animated dead, I would think that necromancy, they would reek of necromancy magic. I'm going to do that then. Okay. I'm going to tell everyone to stand. I'm going to tell everyone to stand back well, so I can can detect to see if these guys are actually zombies or if they're just dead corpses. Alright, so, so I'm going to go back then. Uh, you so we're not going to be jumping into an ambush or something. Yeah, you take your 10 minutes to cast detect magic as a ritual so it doesn't blow a spell slot. And yep. you notice three. Uh, of the skeletons that are in the room are glowing with necromancy magic. They are not moving and not approaching you at all, though. Okay. Uh, I'll point out those three that... There's only those three right there that are uh, that are animated corpses that are probably just waiting for us to walk into the room. Good Do call. something uh, funny. Good call on that I, one, Aaron. I don't really see much of anything of use to going into this room, though. Uh... I don't. I can't see the room. Is there? Is it just a room, or is there something on the other side of the room? Yeah. Can we can we see that from here from from where we're standing, or is it just it just looks like a, a dead end room? Yeah. It's just what you What's see. What's in this room? Yeah. Just just corpses, just the corpses on the on the, the on the wall. Swords on the floor. Yeah. Ah! Uh, I say we go in and kill. Them. How about this? Um. Is there any? Do you guys have any items that can that you can wrap around your arrows and light them on fire? I'm. I feel like fire damage would probably do more to a zombie. They're skeletons. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're skeletons. Never yeah, they're uh, skeletons. Well, before we do anything pertinent, shouldn't retrieve retrieve his spear? I already did. Yep. Yeah, we'll say you got it back. Hope so. Fantastic. <laughs> right, get rid of that zombie off the map as well. Um, and I will just say, as a cleric and a paladin, you guys know that uh, skeletons slashing and piercing weapons do almost nothing. Yeah. Skeletons. Um, any yeah. kind of bashing or bludgeoning weapon is preferred. Do the uh, now the three that are uh, that are that are glowing are they just skeletons or are they it's just skeletons? Okay. So I think okay. I'm gonna back out of this one. Okay. Why? What is this? I don't have fire. You guys have fire. What fire is not do? a thing. Yeah. Here, I hand you a club. Hit him with this. <laughs> Am I actually able to pick up the club? These things are... Yeah, it's like half the size of a baseball bat. Baseball oh. is this game we play in America <laughs> um, <laughs> with bats and balls. Just trust. It's fine. You can you can handle. Is that it. like snowball fights? It's a lot like snowball fights combined oh. with hockey, combined with freedom. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, no, but seriously, you can have the club. I have. <laughs> and in case I don't you're want wondering it. mechanically, Son, you can sneak attack with a club. This doesn't have to oh. be a bladed weapon. You can sneak attack with any weapon. Yeah. These things are unho unholy and unnatural. We have to destroy them. Okay. Ted, how do I give her my club? You just give her your club? <laughs> you meant, like, like mechanically like, in the game? You reach yeah. your hand out. Um, and she takes it. <laughs> um, I think you can. Can you just drag? I'll put drag it to the in the party uh, window there, the inventory window. Okay. I think you can just kind of drop it in the parcel items. Can you do that? Maybe you can't. I tried and it didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Just delete it and have her type it in. I might be able to just transfer it over to you. But the dragon. Oh, yep, I did it. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, right, well, you got. I had out. to move the. I had to move the dragon, not the um. Oh, and you can actually here. You can do this. You can write in there, and assign it to her. Oh, cool! And then I think if I Bam. do this, it should just send it right to her inventory. Yep. Done. Whoa! Wait. That's you got cool. an action tab. Yeah. I... Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. I got it. It's the weapon now. So. Cool. I don't have anything blunt, so I'll just do what I can. Your yeah. fist. Punch it. Yeah, punching works. Um, okay. I put my spear away and take out my maul. Okay. Uh, my my butt maul. Yeah. Do we have to roll initiative again? Uh, or do we yeah. get automatically attacked first? Uh, yeah, I'll say, well, yeah, you guys would get... Uh, I'll just give you guys all a first round of initiative. It, it'll, it's like a surprise round because they're not moving. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll give you guys all one, one shot in combat, and I'm fine with that. Sweet. Just because rather than having to make you roll and go through this, hopefully, if you're lucky, maybe you'll just kill them all in one shot, and then we don't have to go to a second round. <laughs> all right. Um, so, Would anybody care to go first? I think I'm going to go. I'll go first, and I'll go to the one closest to the door. Okay. And, and I'm going to sneak attack it. Yep. Uh, actions. Do I have advantage because of it being yep. surprised? Yep. Press the advantage button on my club. Uh, I think oh, you might also be able to target the the tokens as well on the map. Possibly if we get control of target. I'm not sure if that how that works. But... Uh, Let's see. No, doesn't work. It's not showing. I mean, like I'm I'm nope. moving the token. No, oh, all right, never mind. Nope, doesn't I'm work. Mess around with the token then. Delete token, rotate token. I don't know which <laughs> token this one is. It's fine. It'll make it work. The one closest to the door. Whichever it is. Yeah. Found a Jew. Oh, okay. okay. No, okay. Well, then I'm just randomly picking that one. Yeah, that's fine. That one is now the one closest. And I have advantage. Nice. Shit out of it. Yeah. Okay. Sneak attack. I did only click that once. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Critical condition. Nice. So. And. Can I jump back a little bit before ending yeah, my you turn? Can, you can move after that. Uh, that I think that's fine because it's a surprise round. So, yep. Okay. Uh, and then we're just going to skip the skeletons and send it to you. <coughs> okay. She hit number 10. I guess I'll do number 6. Let's see what that does. Schmack it with my hammer. Justice! Hit. Oh, was that supposed to be an advantage or no? Um, it could have been, but you can if oh, you well. want. Um, roll again, I guess, to try to hit it. No. Oh. Sure. Just to see if I can crit it. Crit yeah, it? no. So that's yeah. fine. Same thing. It, okay. So let's just do that. Ugh, garbage. Vulnerable, though. They, they take double damage. Vulnerable, double damage. Oh, nice. All right, so if you want to end that and send it to Robo, Sean? Mm hmm. <laughs> Am I Robo again? Yeah. yeah. Yep. yep. Totally robo. Dick, fuck, ass, ass, shit, piss, piss, fucker. Dude, there could be children listening to us. Come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Are we good? Yeah, you're good. Yep. Um, I go to... I am the gamer. Thanks for following, by the way. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that before. Um, I got that guy. and I hit him with this thing. Do it. Boom. Oh, I had advantage. Shit. I do it again. <laughs> Good thing you had the first one. <laughs> so you, can, you can go ahead and roll your damage. I think you're probably going to just destroy this thing. Oh, I did the wrong thing because I'm a stupid. 
Nice. Yeah, so that guy's down. Crazy. Wow, you exceeded it by a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Shadron. Oh, uh, let me remove a uh, guy. Okay. Punch uh, Skeleton 6. No, Skeleton 10. Yeah. Punch Skeleton 10. Yep. Okay. Um, face. How, how should I do that? I don't have. Um, so just <laughs> we'll just do it old school. So just roll me a d20. And oh, it failed me. You're gonna add your um, strength and proficiency, right? Uh, yes, your proficiency bonus. So that's a two, and your strength modifier. What are you looking at? Total? He can also re-roll for advantage. Four. Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, roll, roll again. You have advantage. Oh. Oops. So what's what's your strength modifier? Two. Uh, yeah, so you hit. So That's fine. plus four you, is 16. You, I'm going to yeah. say you hit that guy. So damage is unharmed strike, so it's one. A D4? It's no, one. it's one. Oh. But, uh -huh. but it also adds your strength mod, and it's double damage because it's bludgeoning damage. <laughs> You're a blunt <laughs> force instrument. And guess what? That's actually enough to kill it. So <laughs> you punch you the zombie it. in the face, and its teeth go, and they shatter everywhere, and down goes zombie. Uh, or skeleton, I rather. It was I'm sorry. Skeleton. skeleton. Yes. Your hand goes Jeez, through his face and tickles crap. his brain. They're all. The I kind of just want my fists to be turned into bludge, bludgeoning weapons later. We might yes. work on. We could maybe Excellent. work on a, a side quest. To do something for the future. <laughs> it may, we'll just have to figure out how it would interact with being able to shoot a bow, though. You should have become a monk. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of people. Um, so if you could just end your turn, Reap, and we'll send Punchy it back. Ranger. We'll send it back to uh, the song. Uh, so now we have to roll initiative, or? No, we'll uh, just keep the same initiative. And you have allies next to it, so sneak attack again. Voice, 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 voice! Yay! Going to kill it. Help. I keep moving people the wrong way. Okay, it's, it's, I'm. It's all good. It doesn't really matter. I don't even need to sneak attack, but I'm going to anyways. Uh, advantage. Club it. Nice. Got him. Uh, sneak. Smash it. All right, down goes final skeleton. You guys nice. Have cleared the room, and there is just mostly bones and things. Yeah, I'll search. Down. All right, let me just uh, roll a search. Move you out the way. You're fighting. Right Sorry. No, that's okay. I have pins on the map, so like, I just click on the map, and it tells me like, oh, there's a thing here. Like, there's an encounter here. Mm -hmm. Give it to the players. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so much better than mine. And of course, they're short. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Sean. his hands. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So, let's uh, let's pull out a table here and see. I try and convince you that I'm not blind. <laughs> Fifteen. Ooh. Uh. Yes. Yep. I see uh, I don't believe Lady you. Tigress there in the <laughs> chat. You have a question regarding Dungeons & Dragons. Feel free to ask. You have plenty of people with plenty of varying levels of experience. So who got the highest roll there? I did. Okay. Uh, I messed up and moved my stuff around. So what do you find? Yeah, definitely. Oh, you find a one pound egg with a bright red shell. Great. I'll pick that up. I'll take okay. that. Uh, Lady Tigress, Thank there is no arcane spell failure in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Unless you're talking about 3rd or something prior. Um, in 5th edition, there is no arcane spell failure. Um, you can't cast in armor at all. Uh, if you are proficient in the armor, there's no failure chance. So, there you go. 
D knowledge. I thought I put myself on do not disturb, but I didn't. Um, okay, so we're gonna. Um, you know what, Larry? You find something too. Yep. You find. Oh, pity roll. Wait, really? The same thing? <laughs> I guess it's a nest, guys. Uh, so it's a nest of one pound eggs with a bright red shell, and there are three eggs. So Creve and Marin have to figure out if they're gonna take one. Dude, Rock, have paper, it. scissors. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I win. Oh, okay. What kind? What is it? One pound egg. A one pound egg with a bright red shell. Uh, Lady Tigress, you said you only have Dungeons and Dragons three point five. There should be an arcane spell failure percentage next to the armor in the armor table in the player's handbook, and, it, and you kind of stack and add that up. So if your total between your armor and your shield is an arcane spell failure of 25%, say, then you would roll each time you're going to attack a percentile, and if you are above that, then you're fine. If you're below that, then you're not. Sorry, guys. Just answering chat. I like having questions. It makes me feel like, you know, our D&D knowledge doesn't go to waste. <laughs> um, the ungodly <laughs> amount of knowledge I have about this stuff. Um, thanks, Dawn. <laughs> appreciate it. Um, so, you guys are I was typing out what he was saying, because sometimes there's the audio lag, and then I was just like, I'm not typing that. <laughs> are you guys going to head uh, down the other hallway? I figure, I think we're all in consensus, completing this cave, and then we'll call the stream. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. It's not Heading. too much, it's not too much longer. Oh, so. I'm apparently I'm a zombie now. Oh. <laughs> uh, You're just uh, dragging the body with us, with you. This is my prize. And I'll move. <laughs> okay, so you can see 60 feet down here, so that's pretty much this whole area. Ka-chow! ka uh, so Alright, better lead the way. You can see that. So, Larry, you're gonna lead because you can s you can search for traps. I will yeah, that. I'm presuming Creve is following me and lighting the yes. way. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, uh, can I search? Yep. Do I need to search? Uh, I won't tell you if you need just to, because then if I tell you, then you'll always just ask, and if I tell you yes, then you're in another trap. Um, but oh. yes, you can continue. So make me a uh, perception roll. Genetic uh, skills. Perfect. Can I tell if we're going uh, so we're close. Going south or north in any, or up or down in any degrees? Uh, you are pretty much just going. You're you're not going up or down really. Narrow passage okay. is about ten feet across in most places, with rough irregular walls. Protruding spurs on the walls are coated in dry blood. When it widens Whoa. out to that uh, that section there, that L four section. So you guys, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say you move up. Fine, you don't see anything, so as far as traps go. Okay. Uh, so you move, you can move into the main room. Uh, and a star-shaped cavern ahead that has many clefts in its walls. Only two across the cavern seem large enough to traverse. Three zombies lurch about the area. One is costumed like a bear, another is dressed <laughs> as a lady in a frilly dress and thick makeup, and the last is costumed as a jester with jingling bells on its collar and sleeves. Wow. <laughs> That's a sight. So, That's, oh, okay. yeah. Hang on. I need to get the, to get the, the dancing dead here. <laughs> and, uh, so, let's throw these guys here. And the final one here. So, you guys are in the area. You see the zombies. Um, and you've got... The bear is like... And he's on all fours now, and he's like uh, walking all around. It's, and it's not an actual zombie bear, right? No, it's, it's, a, a... it's a zombie in a bear suit. Like, oh, okay. Uh, and then you have the lady is trying to dance, but doesn't have enough tendons to spin. So she's like hobbling, like leg dragging in a circle. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, like that. <laughs> and then you've got uh, your jester. He's like... Uh, and he's kind of shaking his bells in his hand. And then they attack! Roll for initiative! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Zeus, that's Alan's dog. <laughs> oh no, wait, that was the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yay, you did not roll a one. 
for But you still game. rolled less than 10. <laughs> <laughs> Have you rolled higher than 10 yet? <laughs> yeah, for attacks and stuff. Well, okay, that's important. Yeah. Oh, man. Lady Tigress, I'm sorry. I just read what happened. I am so sorry. Uh, well, if you need any assistance with uh, Dungeons & Dragons stuff, you can find me at any of our social media. Um, you find us here most days of the week on Twitch. YouTube, nerdimmersion at gmail.com. If you have questions, you just let me know. Um, okay. Uh, Larry, you're up first. Okay. Uh, who's in front of me? Um... You got that, uh, whatever that zombie is that's right in front of you. I don't know. That, uh, the bear. Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot the bear. Zombie they're, they're, 2 they're... is the bear. Zombie 2 is the bear. Okay. Uh, well, luckily I still have that club. Thank you very much. No, these are, for, these are zombies, not skeletons. Just hit it with your stuff. Oh, okay. I yelled to her quickly. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. <laughs> Also, yeah. don't. Also, just a reminder, you guys. Almost all of you have inspiration as well. Yes. One yeah. instance, if not multiple. Inspiration is basically you can gain advantage on a roll of your choice, um, or you can mm -hmm. technically use it. The way the mechanic of the game is, if you roll before I tell you if it's a pass or a fail, you can use it to roll again. That's obviously not a thing since the game automatically calculates. So if you would roll and miss, I'm gonna allow you to. If you have inspiration, to use it to then roll a. a to try to hit again, just to throw it out there. Yep. Okay. Um, can I use my rapier? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Rapier, then. I, uh, yeah. I have a, I have a, I have an old ca calculator. Oh my god! Critical hit. Nice. No, no, no fanciness. But just a regular old crit. Holy damage! <laughs> wow. wow. Well, down what? goes the bear. Uh -huh. Shit! <laughs> Holy crap! Um, uh, Marin, aim for the late, the maiden fair. <laughs> uh, what? It's a Game of Thrones joke. Oh, uh, you didn't I'm target just... it, or you did target it? Yeah, it is. Soup's dead. Soup's yeah. dead. So I dance and then duck behind y'all and then yeah, I'm done. Oh, almost a 20. It's so close. You're fighting the Maiden Fair. Yep, and zombie number... Five. Five. Okay. Uh, and takes moderate amounts of damage. Um, okay. You good? Yep. Okay, send it on to... Thank you for to do that. Follow guys. This is we really appreciate all you guys following the Twitch channel. Yes, I joking. Thank you very a much. Comment about trying to hit a hundred Twitch followers today as a joke. It might actually happen. Might happen. Uh, um, I'm going to uh, run up and spear the maiden fair. Okay. With a spear. That wasn't a. Yeah, I hit it. I gotcha. Uh huh. All right. Let's see your damage. Giggity. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, All right. The maiden fair, her dress has slipped off one shoulder, a little risque. Um, but so has That's the hot. arm associated with that shoulder. Um, oh. Okay. So, <laughs> and that uh, if you're done, Creed, we can send it to Shadow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so okay, which one is left? Zombie five is left. still alive. That's the maiden fair, and zombie six is the jester. I don't like funny people. <laughs> we can tell. Why so serious? By your robot voice. <laughs> ah, almost. That's not even his best robot voice. Uh, all right, and take stick it around. Takes a bunch of moderate <laughs> amounts of damage. Um, and uh, if you would like to send it to the zombie, the maiden fair is going to attack. No. The maiden fair oh, is going no. to target. Creve. Oh no! Attack with her slam attack. Mm. Mm. Oh jeez. Yeah, she does. She misses. <laughs> well, she's only got one arm. <laughs> yeah, so that's it's probably true. why. And zombie six is gonna shamble over to the metal man. And uh, that's a take a long swing. shamble. They, they got a fair it, amount of movement speed. They can make that. Does she have to pass me? 
Uh, you are correct, sir. Yes! Uh, Score! Reaction attack. So I believe if we click on you, um, under your attacks, there is yep. a reaction thing. You see that? Um, click the little sword. Ah! See, so react. You can check that off. No. Where? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Just make an attack roll. Okay. Against zombie six. Zombie six. Okay. Um. Bam! Oh my God! Noise! Exhausted. Nice. In addition to the standard critical, it's exhausted, but it's a zombie. So it doesn't get exhausted. So it doesn't get exhausted. <laughs> it gets it dead. dead though. No, it doesn't. Oh, it gets <laughs> hurt <laughs> kind of though. Okay, so we're gonna send it back to the mate or to the jester here, the Joker. Uh, and he's gonna move up, so he's right next to oh, this guy. Oh wait, this one was the one you attacked, right, Song? The one in the middle there. What? Yeah, the one in the middle is dead. Yeah, so it's fine. I wish it would auto delete them off, but I don't think it has them correlated to something. No, it doesn't seem to correlate the names. I think it. I think I can have it do that. I just haven't figured out how. Um, but that's because this is like the first actual combat with a map we've had. Uh, so yeah. Right next to Lara, and he targets Shadron, the Joker, and he rolls his, his attack. And he misses. Back around to Lara. Well, I'm going to attack the one that's in front of me, which is the Jester. Yep. Okay. He moans as if to say, Do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> 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 That's what it's it's probably like. gonna be a lie. So you just, yeah, just, just kill him. It's probably because I shot him in the face with an arrow. And down <laughs> goes, uh, down goes the Joker. And uh, he moans as if it was laughter. <laughs> um. <laughs> what that sound? Just... <laughs> <laughs> and it's Marin's turn, and what a whiff with a four. I will use inspiration. All right, roll a nice, nice use of your three instances of inspiration. <laughs> I have so many. You also didn't target him. But right. Oh damn it! <laughs> Do I have to roll a reroll? Uh, no, you're fine. Okay, so just damage. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you killed it. Alrighty, down goes that zombie. Um, I should be better now. Uh, comrade Mikhail, who said uh, that you're having trouble hearing me, uh, should be all set now. I fixed that. Um, yeah, Ted. Quite you. His mic is a jerk. It's just all it like, auto, no like, one wants to listen to you anymore. It just lowers the <laughs> volume on me, like, all the time. It loves to do that. It thinks it's funny. I don't think it's funny. That's a little funny. You're a little okay. funny. But looks at right, everything. <laughs> so we oh. have... I thought it was nice, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two. We have two ways to go. We have uh, just call to the north and to north the south. and south. Uh, do you guys want to split up or stay together? No, stay together. All right. All right. I mean, we have to always have to mention that. All right. No one ever wants to split up. We just, you know. Yeah. yeah. Let's go north. Let's go north. Sounds like good. Up. Good. Yeah, sure. Can you see anything? Is there anything of interest? Why is the jester still dancing? <laughs> His corpse is just twitching on the ground. <laughs> I could have reanimated him, but uh I search for things. Despawn. Okay. I'm hang searching on. for traps. Do I see traps? Uh hang on. You do not see any traps. I don't see any traps, guys. We're okay. good, let's go. So uh Let me just sorry, this is uh you're down here so you get to see that. Uh, Whoa. Let's just see here. Uh, Actually, you can probably see like all of this. What are these? What is that? That stairs, I think. Ah, uh, those. Oh my god! I keep forgetting because I'm reading the map and the map is backwards. Because remember, those are two. Uh, 
tunnel leads to a small cavern with two closed iron chests resting on the floor. Ooh. Uh, check for tra traps on those some bitches. Uh, a peephole in the southern wall, which is actually the the western wall, um, allows someone standing at the top to observe the chests. So, like, where, like, right, uh, you see how there's that little break in the wall to the left there? Or to the, yeah. Mm hmm That's, like, somebody can look in there on it. You can't fit through there, but it's, like, a peep window to look in there. Can I'm I look my there? arrow. Can we see through that? Yeah, you can see out into the room, um, and, uh, you can only, you only have, like, a limited viewpoint, so I'm not gonna give you too much stuff. Okay. Can I investigate the chests? Yes, you can. Give me a perception check. Nice. So close. It's it's fine. It, you don't natural twenty on a on a perception check is no different than a nineteen. It's just one point higher. So oh. so don't so <laughs> not to not to burst your bubble at all. But uh, no, that's really good. There are no traps. Um, however, you both can make me. A dexterity save. Both of you ah, two since crap. you went into the room. Damn it! Woo. A hedge? Use inspiration, I'm, I'm Clara it. Familia. Yeah, whoa, whoa, I want to use my inspiration. Alright, so go ahead and roll, roll your, uh, roll, re roll that. Inspiration candy. You also have the inspiration candy as well. Uh, I will use inspiration. Okay. I used my inspiration. Yep, no, you're fine. You're good. Um, and I rolled worse. <laughs> All right. Damn so... it. Oh, hang on. Uh, Son, you take. Lady Tigress four... is asking about tips for creating beginner campaigns. I will get Lady Tigress. I will get to you in a second. Hedge, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage from falling rocks. Ugh. And Ugh. Uh, Son, you take four. How do I put that on there? On, uh, on your, uh, wounds. You see where it says wounds? It oh, has max HP. Hand. It counts up, so you just put in the damage. Oh. I uh, oh, so... go over to Marion and I heal him for five with my lay on hand and say, oh, fuck so up, kind. fella. It's okay. You're so kind. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> uh, and you inspect the iron chests, they're empty. God damn it. Okay, so he killed me for but, five. But um, I'm going to say that uh, you actually could have done that, by the way, Sean. There's a way that you could have targeted him and cast Lay on Hands from your character, and it would have healed him. Yeah, I think we've done that before. Yeah. Uh, this is easier. And I put seven because I forgot to put in the wounding from before. Oh, all right, that's fine. Um, you recognize oh. uh, Lara as being a rogue that this rock fall was not a random happenstance or a triggered trap due to your sure footwork this was sprung on you by someone who was observing where you were oh creep um probably through I that peephole I relay that information to the group okay um so she told you guys that uh let's get out of here and then when he hears that he goes you dare to... You hear a voice from the other room. You dare to pitch yourself against the Lord of Lance Rock? Death is your reward! And then you hear a cackle as if it runs off into the distance. <laughs> so do we, like, do, do we chase him, or...? Well, you can't... You, 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 you can't... You, well, we there's can't the, go through the hole. There's the other I can't path. see! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Get your damn thing to load! Is it still loading for you? No, I closed it, because it... We hadn't loaded. We'll try loading oh. it again. I can't. <laughs> you can't load it yeah, again? You... When I go to, I go to maps and images, that. everything's locked. Oh. No, no, no. You click on the name, not the lock. The lock just means you can't make changes to it. Oh, there you go. It's loading. Right. It says you're in the map now. <laughs> oh. Are you in the map? No, it says loading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since we can't go through this hole, I suggest we go down this back to the back to L four. Yeah. Okay. And go through the yeah. other passageway. I follow Mary. Okay. 
cheating on the map. Track. I can see that this this uh, this passage just loops around into the big open passage. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have exposed that much. I forgot that it was just a people, <laughs> but that's fine. I'll allow it. So okay, so well, we don't have much other choice, anyways. True. So I'm gonna say you guys emerge into the big area there, and big old wall of text. Whoa! Uh, the passage opens into an enormous cavern illuminated by several guttering torches set in sconces on the walls. The floor is uneven, and the ceiling is 40 feet up. Three flat boulders near the passage serve as a table for human corpses. Severed body parts sit in baskets by the corpses covered in dry gore. A figure in a dark hood stands by the third table. It's back to you. Matted hair juts from his hood, and the figure holds a bone needle threaded with dark cord in its hand. Farther to... Th again, ignore the cardinal directions because we're changing it so north and so yeah, west yeah so farther to the north a stone stair climbs the north wall or the oh, god damn the east wall uh, uh ending near the ceiling a stone slab like a counter juts from the wall across the room from the base of the stairs it holds saws knives and other tools four skeletons stand beyond the tool bench guarding a wide passage that exits to the west um, the north 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 yeah yeah you know what I mean. Yep. Um, so here, you guys can don't reveal that. So. Whoa. Um, anyway, I, I think also, I, I lied, actually. The uh, the guy's not, or I said he was. That's just what the thing, because he dropped rocks on you, so he's uh, further away. But On the stairs. Just four skeletons? Yeah, let me drop those guys. Well, while you're doing that, are you able to answer ladies' question? Uh, any tips for creating beginner while camp. you're putting all this shit down yeah I'm on the map on i'm working on it uh let's um, see Here. well there's stuff in the dms in the dms guide isn't there there is there's a lot of stuff for starting uh beginner campaigns oh i lied the hooded figure is the hooded figure i'm stupid I, ignore me yep uh okay i think this might actually does this put them on the map? Puts them... Go for it. Here. So... Um, sorry, guys. I'm just... I, I think I tied the tokens to the things now. I just don't know how to get them to show up on the... Uh, on the map itself. Which cool. is annoying. But yeah, I think I actually tied the, the tokens correctly. Um... But yes, the the Dungeon Master guy does have several options for teaching you how to create campaigns and things like that. Um, I also would recommend possibly picking up a starter campaign just to kind of get your feet on the ground, get your feet wet to figure out you know how things work, and then you know use that as kind of a basis. There's actually a ton of free ones online as well that you can use. And for three five, there's tons and tons of free. Oh, ones. so much. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys enter the room, these, uh, there's skeletons. And they sell separate, separate campaigns for, like, level 1 to 5, level 4 to 14. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, sorry, let's see, um, skeletons. Where did I say they were? They were by the bench, right? Beyond the by bench. By that back that back dagger looking thingy in the back. Yeah. There we go. Oh, now it has their name on there. Skeleton 1, Skeleton... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. See, I figured yeah. it out. It took me a little bit, Get but I got that. it. Where's the hooded figure? Uh, the hooded figure was by the bench, right? Uh, I think the third one. The third table. Yeah. Um... Okay, so do you have anything on your map right now? Yep, the skeletons. Yeah. Oh, you don't have you don't have the other guy, do you? Okay. No. No, but well, he's not a ticker either. Yeah. Well, I, he's hidden because I don't want to uh, expose this right now. I guess if that makes sense. It's fine. You know what? Whatever. Uh, Can make you me throw make down me a, a placeholder for him then? Yeah. Make me a perception check, everybody. All, all of us. Okay. Yeah. Perception. Oh, there's Lero just acing it. Great alchemy. Um, you see ghosts. That's how good I you are. I see shit. 
All right, so that is what uh, it turns out that the hooded figure is actually a zombie. Oh no! Oh no! So you see the zombie there, and you see the other skeletons as well. I attack. Okay, roll for initiative. <laughs> Magic missile at the darkness. Oh yeah! Look at me with my fifteen. Bam! And shit. <laughs> 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 we all rolled really good. <laughs> For once. Dick's on a dick. They actually, the zombies, or the skeletons, rolled pretty high, too. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. So, uh, what do you got? So, uh, Shadron, you're up first. What do you do? Uh, target the zombie, because it's close. Okay. They move pretty fast, I guess. I can't really hurt skeletons, so... You can, sh yeah, you oh. can shoot it from where you're at, so. Your longbow has a range of 100. Snap a shot feet, off so. at it. Do it. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's not set on the turn, right? You. Uh, yeah, you didn't target it, but that's fine. No. Oh, uh, balls. I think it's. I saw it flip like it was trying to. It's actually set to my turn right now. Oh, is it really? Uh, it is. Yep. There you go. Not bad. I'll just throw three damage. Or four, four damage. Four damage on the guy. Targeting Baron as the zombie. <laughs> there we go. He's got four damage on him. So, um, but at that, because you guys just didn't immediately turn around, some more things pop out of the corpse-ridden bowls and things hidden next to the zombies. So. Ew. Oh, what is that? Oh. What are those? Crawling hands? Yep. Yep. You better look out if they pick you up by your shadow, if they take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. No! <laughs> you did it. You did that it. shit. You did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, Alright, so, Lara, it would be your turn now if uh, Shadron would give up hit his the turn. button. Yeah, hit his butt. Hit the button. Now it's mine. Oh, Alright, Gal. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, so, Lara, what do you do? Oh, I can't sneak attack because there's too many of them around. Guess I'll, well, I'll move. Okay. How do I, which one is this one? Uh, that is oh, one of the crawling the hands. Four. Yeah, the crawling claw. Caught a four. And do, do, do I forgot where my tacky things are. There we are. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Embarrass, you receive a minus two penalty to attack rolls against the target until you successfully hit it with an attack. Because you're embarrassed by how bad you fumbled. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can't I use uh, my, Halfling. my lucky? Halfling. Oh, you can use your lucky. You're right. Okay. Roll that again. Uh, okay. How do I do that? Just roll. Or... Just roll again. Okay. Lucky. Hashtag lucky halfling. That... Hashtag <laughs> halfling for the win. Hashtag lucky. Hashtag <laughs> no ones. <laughs> hashtag not longer embarrassed. Um, hashtag better than a feet. Hashtag yeah, better than a feet. Uh. All right, so that's dead, and removed from the combat completely. Noise. Uh, oh my god, that was close. Yeah, you were gonna be in some shit. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, attack on roll ability to check your saving throw. Yeah. Yep, no, you're good. It's basically everything but damage. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Oh, uh, sorry. There we go. Okay, skeleton oh, one. Oh, jeez, here we go. This is rough because they all have bows. Ah! Oh, I uh, should have fell back. I didn't. That was dumb of me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so this guy's gonna attack. Uh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna attack <laughs> Marin. Bring it on, bitch! Whoa. Oh no! Don't tell him that, because then he will. No, I'm just okay. taunting him, and he's gonna be embarrassed. You're, no, you're taunting him to pull aggro. He did not get embarrassed. 
Took seven damage, bro. You're almost dead. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that's horrible. Next guy goes. And I'm sorry, but I can't actually fudge this because the, the game rolls it for you. So, uh, this one's going to attack. Oh, that's a short bow, so it's... Is that 8320? Yeah, so it can. It's gonna shoot at Creve. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's fair. I assume it's I'm the most logical target. Yeah, is it the one that hasn't taken any damage, so you won't die? <laughs> yeah, that too. All right, miss. Ha -ha! The next one's gonna attack Creve. <laughs> Bring it, <laughs> silly man. <laughs> Bone thing. Miss. Goes to the next one, and I have to let the dogs inside. I'll be right back. Oh no! <laughs> oh, dramatic pause. <laughs> uh, I need to remember if Lucky runs out or. No, you can do it as much as you want. Sweet. That's why Halfling is my favorite race in yeah. the game so far. Alright, I've returned. That is so huge. And the Sorry. final guy is gonna attack Shadron. Because he hasn't been attacked yet. Oh no. And I'm afraid that if I hit Lara, she's gonna die. <laughs> I mean, realistically, they probably would do that because that would make the most sense, but. Yeah. I'm out of I, yeah, We can't be seen. From I can heal. I can yeah. heal. Right. What spells you got, Hedge? Cure wounds. You have no, healing. no. I, like, other than that. Uh, Guiding Bolt, which I'm going to cast as well. Okay. You've got healing word as well, which is a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. I'm so gonna you can do still that attack too. as well. Yeah. Uh, so the the crawling claw, fifteen. He's gonna move over here. He's gonna attack Marin Lightning Slinger. I almost said it again, but I'm not. <laughs> oh God. What does he do? His claw attack. What does I have he do? So much pain. Oh, oh my! God. Okay. Gonna break the nail. No, so just slap pain. Uh, Hedge. What's Your that? character's name inspired me when I named my character uh, in a different campaign. Oh, yeah. good. Instead of Lightning Slinger, my character is Thunder Britches. <laughs> <laughs> Hedge, you take three points of slashing damage. Oh, I'm dead. Are you serious? I had 10 already on me. Yeah. My max is, is 12. Oh, here's 12. <laughs> Down goes Hedge to unconscious. Okay. Moving on. He got the... bitch slapped by a hand. Yeah. The next crawling claw is going to attack Creve, so we don't all die. Now they're crawling all over me. <laughs> yeah, they love it. <laughs> he misses. And this one's going to come... Off. Over here, and it's gonna attack Shadron. He's got to move past to do that. Oh, it's got. You're right. Good call, Hedge. You get a free shot. You're down. Hedge is Le Lara, you get a free shot on Crawling Claw number five. Okay. Do, do, do. And just regular old shot. Mm-hmm. Hit. Instant, Instant death. death. Instant death. All right, so it doesn't even get to go, and this guy is just going to attack Lara because if he moves, he's going to die. Because you're just going to get... Oh, actually, you wouldn't because you only get one reaction, but that's besides the point. The Crawl and Claw doesn't know that. It's not very <laughs> slow. And it's not a turn. Oh, my God, it goes to Creve. <laughs> I feel like if you use your death weapon, you'll kill all the crawls. Well, I was about to say, I can't see what's happening, is there any kind of cone I could kill a lot of things with? <laughs> yes. You could kill everyone. <laughs> you could kill everyone, the entire party. But oh, I'm going to say sure. if you move to... Yeah, you can get two of these guys with your breath weapon. All right, I will do that then. You can get seven and three with your breath weapons. Boom. And uh, I, cast I, it. I really wish it worked to tell me what your saves and stuff were. Cause it's being so well, hard. it says my save is a, a le the DC is 11. Uh, I think it's dexed. Yeah, I think so. Or is it cold? Or is it constitution? I think it's dexed. All right. 
I didn't look it up. I'm looking it up. Yeah, it should just say right in your character sheet. I lost my character sheet. The paper one. And it doesn't say here. It just says That's, uh, well, DC, the dragon, right? DC 11. That's all it says. Right. You click the oh, dragon? Stupid Sean. I think you're right. I am nope. right. Son of a bitch. Nope. Damn it. Because it depends on what kind of uh, dragon I That's am. It's fine. It can be dexterity. Yeah. That's fine. Right. So, this guy... Oh, he makes the save. And then he takes half. Yeah, and this guy also makes the save. So make your lower your damage. X. Uh, where you at, bitches? Don't roll oh. like a bitch. <laughs> oh no, I off roll like a bitch. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of bitch like. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are felled by your mighty cold breath. Ah! ah I say. <laughs> All right, it is. That's the end of uh, your turn. I'm okay with that. All right, Marin, when oh, you it's my uh, turn. down at the bottom save. is a death oh, yeah. save at your main page. You see where it says death save down the bottom? That little that little die. Click it. Yep, yeah, the little one that says next to the S and F. Success! You have one success. Ooh. Two Ooh, more successes, what, what, what and you stabilize and don't bleed out. Oh, so, that's good. So that was your turn. <laughs> Yay. So you can send it to the zombie. Hedge. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> uh, I can only move this far. Shadron. Phew. Let's see here. I'm going to shoot the zombie again. Do it. Because call. what I can do damage to if I hit it. Hey, you did. <sighs> really? Yeah. Wow. Heavy damage. It's heavy, Doc. Um, all right. <laughs> totally. So that is your turn. <sighs> you click the button. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, the button thing's, yep. uh, yeah. yeah, tricky. All right, Lara. Crawling Claw 15, going for it. How are we going to do? Hit! Instant dead. Instant dead. All right, all the Crawling Claws uh, have been killed now. The, all that remains... I... What? Yeah, you can back do up. Do I have any remaining... No, do I have any remaining action to help Marinel? Um. Uh, you know what? I'll give you, give me a medicine check, just because you're right on top of him and he fell like. Uh, that's enough to stabilize him. Oh you man! You only need ten. Why so. are you sad about that, Sean? Because yeah. if you get a tw natural twenty on a on a death save, then you're back up with one health. Oh. Oh, so I'm yeah. still unconscious. Yeah, you're still unconscious. You are useless to us. You just oh, don't nice. have... I'll tell you what, I'll let you... You don't have to worry about dying anymore, though. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I mean, I wasn't worried about you dying. Alright, so... Although, that means that we're still out in the open, but... Mm -hmm. Oops. I accidentally had him shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's Thanks. an autom Thanks. that's an automatic death failure. So, Thanks, Ted. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's his turn. <laughs> this guy's gonna attack Creve. Creve the robot. <laughs> Fucking monkey! Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. That's the worst robot you've ever robot. been. <laughs> we gotta do some tests and find out if it's your microphone or your. Connection. Maybe he's part war forced. <laughs> All right. All this right. game's bullshit. Shadron took some Ooh, damage. Shad. It goes to Creve. Um. Uh, how Ow. far away are the Skellingtons from me? Five, A lot. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. 
So it's gonna take me three turns to get there? Mm, it's your dash. Can't you shoot? Fuck. Uh, I'd have Throw to. I, I'd be at. Uh, fucking shit. I'd be at shit. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move 30 feet closer. Uh, and I guess throw my spear. Okay. At uh, pick a skeleton. I don't. I, I. They mean those are not Ten. three. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So all right. So target him. Um. And how far away are they? You said they were sixty-five feet away from me before. So now they're twenty-five feet away. Forty. Forty. Forty-five feet. That's how math works. Forty. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm at disadvantage. Mm. Um, here I go. <laughs> Still hit! Woo! Roll some damage. Um, which they are resistant to? Ah! Yeah. Alright, yep. that's my turn. Alright. Marin! You're unconscious again because Whoops. they hit you. So roll a death save. <laughs> oh, really? Lame sauce. Natural twenty, do it. Holy yeah, shit! Dad. Holy shit! <laughs> My friend, you have one hit point and you are back up. Can I? Can I do anything? Can I cast? Something? I'm gonna say yeah. You're prone. It takes fifteen feet of movement to stand up. But I'm Morden beautiful. himself smiles upon you. You can see you can fight. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so go now, ahead and, and heal can yourself. I, can I do a bonus action as well? You can't. Uh, you can either. The way casting a spell works is you either cast a full action spell and that's it, or you can cast a bonus action spell and a cantrip, or a bonus action spell and attack. Okay, I'm going to just full action heal with Cure Wounds. Okay. On myself! So you can go ahead and target yourself and roll that. Oh, I feel so much better. You there look you so much better. There you go, bud. That is what? your turn. So why don't we send it All to right. the zombie? I swear, if he knocks me out. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the fight! <laughs> I feel like Fred from Big Hero 6. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna attack uh, Shadron. Sure. This guy. You yeah. Fall into my range? What? Um. <laughs> you're right. Uh, yeah. Get, get a free shot on him. Lara, that makes sense. Oops. If I could give it to you. There you go. Destroy him. Hit. Critical. Oh my god, he's got one health. Uh, Do I get to attack on him too, or no? Oh, you would too, you're right. Sweet. <laughs> I believe in you. Don't mess it up. Not please attacking don't myself. Chop off your own leg. Please don't chop off oh, your god. own leg. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? You use a bludgeoning weapon, so you can't. You hit him. He's dead. He's gonna die, so. Damage exceeds by seven. <laughs> Down goes the zombie in the hooded robe. <laughs> and then it circles back around to Shadron. You have skeletons Ew. across the map. Oh, jeez. Um... And the only one that's been mm. damaged is Skeleton 3. Suppose I'll just see if I can add more damage to that. Did do it up. <laughs> wow. Hit. Alrighty. So, he's uh, losing some health, so that's good. Uh, you send it to Alara. Mm -hmm. you click the button. Reap. <laughs> ah, jeez. Please. Please. Uh, 
so hey, I can only move. Twenty-five feet. Yeah, that's. Do you have any ranged weapons? Yeah. Um. It's far enough to get you behind Creve. Is that far enough to get you behind Creve? Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, he's only fifteen feet in front of you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hide. That's not me. This is me. I'm gonna hide behind Creve. Uh, can that put me in stealth? Maybe, because you're a halfling. You got that halfling yeah, thing. Yeah, naturally stealthy. Uh, let's see. It's tricky because they technically are observing you. You know what I mean? Uh, I can attempt to hide even when you are obscured only by a creature that is at least one size larger than you. Well, it'll be probably... Well, make me a, make me a stealth check. Boom. So, yeah, I'm going to say you... I mean, they're also skeletons, so they're not that bright. So, <laughs> yes, you have sufficiently hidden behind Creve. Okay. Then... Meat shield. <laughs> At least until he moves. <laughs> I'm uh, going to attack that guy. Uh, you also would get sneak attack because attacks made from stealth are at advantage. That's why I set all this up. I figured. Oh no, it's oh it's an advantage. Uh if it's an advantage, do I re roll my attack attempt or do I just leave it? Uh I would just leave you it because technically critical. well what's the range on your short bow? Uh fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty, thirty. Eight. Uh, eight. 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 Oh yes, yeah, so you can make it. Never mind. So yeah, you could roll it again if you want to see if you crit. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So go ahead and uh, roll your damage. Instant dead. Instant death. Down goes skeleton number three. All right, three left. And I'm gonna just forward this myself. This guy was targeting Marin Lightning Sailor. He's gonna keep it up because his track record so far has been good. <laughs> but he misses. I hate you. <laughs> this guy attacks Creve. You want me to come back and make him hit you again? <laughs> I mean, because I could do that. <laughs> Just a cadre of misses. <laughs> Creve, it's to you. Okay. Um, I am. I'm still forty feet away. Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty feet. Yeah. All right. Uh, I run oh, I up. Can't make the skeleton stand. Thirty feet. <laughs> yep. And use the help action to distract them and give Lara Familia advantage on her next attack. Okay. The other part is if you did move up in just as a fun fact, if you moved into melee range, um any ranged attacks they would make would be at disadvantage because you were in melee range. Or Can they I have get you could you could dash and get no no that. um could I get within melee range of more than one of them yes of two of them all right where actually with a dash the... you could get yeah you could do it um all right all right so then in that case I will dash pick up my spear from the dude whose body I threw it in mm -hmm. and then get uh hopefully within range of two of them so they'd be at disadvantage if that's a thing I can do. So there you go. So you give this, and, and then they might have to switch weapons because they're, you know, whatever. And yeah, and I got my spear back. All right, so uh, I'm just going to forward it for you, and it goes to Marin. Woot. Okay. Uh, um, so I can move, and then can I cast a spell also? You can move. You could move, cast Healing Word as a bonus action if you so fit, and still cast a cantrip because you have Sacred Flame, which is a 60 foot range attacking cantrip. That's what I was going to do. I was wondering yeah. if I can do all, all three of yep, those. Yep, all three of those things could be done. Okay, okay so I'm going to move 25 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, they are within range. Yep. So I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. On skeleton number two. You are lucky number two. 
Alrighty. Sacred flame. It's a dex. Yeah, see, click cancer. click save because it'll work for there you for some reason. Uh, skeleton passes oh, the save. save. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, he passed. So oh, no no that. no damage because cantrips don't do half damage. That's uh, okay. So and then I'm also gonna cast. Who has the most damage on them? Uh, Shadron and Lara are tied for damage. Shadron has more health has overall. Stuff. Yeah. So I will heal her. Okay. Yay. Just because. Thank you. Well, she's running into melee range, so it makes sense. Yeah. I will yeah, you can pick him off from can way I back. Can I reach the distance? Uh, you can dash on your turn. It's a double move. So that okay. gives you... Um, Boom. There you go. Uh, a dash nice. gives you double movement speed. So uh, then it's okay. going to go back to so Shadron. <laughs> yes. Although, again, your short bow does reach just fine. All right, I'm out of spells. And now they are within five feet of me, so if you shot them with your short bow, you would get... Um, yeah, as long as you are within 30 Whoa, feet of them. Sneak, cool. it, sneak attack. What? Fuck it. Hedge. If you... If you have both your spell slots clicked, your yeah. spells go away, so you can't cast them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I can only cast mm. cantrips now. Okay, cool. So, Shadron, that's let's that. fire away. Yep, let's do that. That's, I'm just going to keep up the volley. Let's do it. Hit. Barely. You don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so this guy's getting critical condition. So here's how about this? I'm just gonna forward it for you, so that way you don't forget. <laughs> uh, so Lara, you can um, if you were to shoot if you were within thirty feet of skeleton is that three or seven whatever those two are that are by Creve. Um, three and ten. Three and ten. If you're within thirty feet, which you can move up that far and still attack with your short bow, you'd get sneak attack because he's within five feet of them. So you don't actually have to close the gap. Okay. So, if so that's I something you wanted to do. A little yeah. bit. Well, it does counterbalance the fact that I'm using a piercing weapon. Yeah, but that's okay. They seem to be doing a fair amount of damage anyway. They seem to have six health. <laughs> <laughs> they have actually more than double that, but that's besides the point. Oh, all right. Um, so, go ahead, so. yeah, if you want to move up just so you're within 30 feet, you can shoot your bow, no problem. And get sneak attack. Okay. Okay. Your um, do you think I'll take on seven? Seven's okay. all right. Sure. Uh, well, seven wouldn't get you sneak attack because it's got to be within oh. five feet of Creve. Oh, right. So those two okay. guys, three or ten. Ten and two. Ten and two. That's what I meant. Okay. And purple. Natural twenty. Whoa. Nice. Oh. Mighty blow. The critical hit does quadruple damage dice. <laughs> instead of the usual double damage. And it's a sneak attack. Wow. Um, it explodes. Yeah, that is just skeleton dust. Yeah, that you didn't even put on uh, your sneak attack on that one. You would have done double. Yeah, I did. you did. You didn't add your sneak attack on there. It would have doubled the sneak attack dice. Yeah. It would have been six si six d six. No, it would have. Oh, it would have quadrupled the, the sneak attack dice. Oh, you're right. It would have. It would have been added another eight or four, so it would have been eight d six. If I do it yeah. before I do my attack roll. Uh, before you roll, you're... yeah, before you roll the damage. I did apply before I rolled the damage. It doesn't. Uh, if you look, thing. it doesn't say sneak attack. Oh. That's fine. He's soup's That's... dead. Yeah. So, um, all right. So skeleton two <laughs> is going to switch to his short sword, and he's going to attack Creve, which is convenient. Creve! Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, he's got inspiration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god! Oh, no. One hit killed. <laughs> By a Shit. fucking skeleton. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, so this guy's gonna attack Shadron because oh, that's what God. he's been doing, and he's gonna miss. So it's gonna go to Creve. Come on, buddy, Hedge did it. Yeah. You can do it. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> what? What is going on? <laughs> oh, I take out my warhammer. <laughs> Your mall. And I hit this motherfucker <laughs> as hard as I can. <laughs> or at least I attempt to. Hit. Uh. Boom. <laughs> Gone. Just I crunched say, into the ground. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's uh -huh. so lame. Marin, it's your turn. <laughs> You can't close. You can hit him with a cantrip. You can't close the gap and still hit him with an attack. Yeah, I can hit him with a cantrip though. So I'll, so I'll sacred flame his butt. You could oh. spare the dying by accident. You spared let's the not, dying. Let's not do that. What happened? Target the skeleton and roll your catch the oh. cantrip. Oh my god, he passed. He rolled a sixteen. Lee. All right. Uh, Shadron. All right. One Just guy keep left. Up the volley. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we. All right. Final <laughs> skeleton goes down. Now there's only oh. the other guy. What other guy? Uh, He's hiding. Oh jeez. Like a bitch. True. I'm gonna recover my arrows. Let's search. Yeah, I want to get my arrow back. Um, well, I'm gonna actually have you guys roll me a percentile check, um, percentile roll, because you've been shooting an awful lot of arrows, and typically arrows break, so... Uh, okay. I know you weren't talking to me, but I had already clicked percentile, so Appreciate I... Appreciate it. Good job, bud. You're doing a good job. Oh, Thanks. Um, I'm going to perception check when they're done, and look in the room. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say you can get half those arrows back. Reef. Awesome, I get two or three because there were five shots. Um, bye bye arrow. Yeah, two. bye bye arrows. I don't head, head. You don't you don't get any. You ro you rolled two d tens, not the percentile. <laughs> uh, you say uh, black metal satanist. I see you just commented that you said use the let's say LSAT target finder. Did I read that right? No, it looks like that. Yeah. Um. That's a good question. I still new to roll or to fantasy grounds completely, so there's tons of ins and outs that I don't know. So, um, yeah, probably right. I should do that. So, okay, you guys gonna continue on? Oh, you're looking around the room. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Okay, you by the bench. Their uh, stone counter serves as the tool bench where the skeletons were. The tools here include saws, knives, awls, and bombing tools and metal bowls. Among them is a jug of grain alcohol and a cask of fresh water. Everything is very clean. I take the jug of grain alcohol. Uh, okay. You have a jug of grain alcohol. Um, yeah. They are just, like, clearly being used to do some weird experiments. These tools... Uh all right. Um, now, weird question: Can anyone uh, heal me? Nope. <laughs> All right, good talk. I'll see you out there. Let's uh, go get this guy. Go. I'm out of healing. All right, let's go. All right. Yeah, he can spare the dying. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm still running in a battle. All right. So you can <laughs> run down this hall. You're gonna move up, I guess, down this hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh... Kreev shouldn't lead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lead. <laughs> Shadron wanted to peep through the people. Oh, okay. You can just see the room that you were in before. And you see the lever okay. there that was used to pull to drop the rocks on you guys. So. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so clearly the guy was watching you guys set in there and then waited and pulled the trigger to trap you guys. Or to damage mm -hmm. you guys, rather. Um, Alright, so you guys continue... Creed, do you still have your torch? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm gonna say you continue down the hallway. And um, I don't see nothing. Yes. Searching for traps. Yep, no traps. Uh, I'm gonna watch as you guys move. Oh. No, it's fine. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun little game. Uh, Alright, so as you guys get towards the opening there at the end. An oval cavern opens here, 40 feet wide and 60 feet long. Dark purple tapestries hang on the walls. The center, uh, at the center stands a pedestal fashioned of severed arms arranged to clutch one another in a cone. Cradled in the uttermost hands is a glowing crystal sphere. A dark sigil with an eye-like slit floats above the sphere. And... Dodge. Do I recognize any of the markings? Um, maybe. Uh... Religion? History? History. Okay. I want to shoot this sphere with an arrow before combat. <laughs> uh, well, there is the guy is there too, by the way. Eh. He's Trick there. shot it off the sphere into his face. Yeah. You are asking for a lot, sir. I know. Um, <laughs> so, uh. Do I recognize anything about it? Yeah. Mm, no, it's uh, it's ancient though. You guys know that it's old. Okay. But uh, uh. Right, rolling perception. Oh, I, don't I can know, actually behind accidentally... us. What'd you say, <laughs> Sean? I accidentally rolled perception. Oh. Oh. And now everyone else did too. Just decided to kind of look around to make sure we don't get ambushed again by crawly things. Yeah. Um. Trying to see if I have a picture of the the symbol, so you guys can see it. Um, it's a triangle with a circle and a line through it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> is that the Elder Wand? Deathly yeah. Hollows. The Deathly Hollows. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly. Jesus, what you're it gonna is. nerd it up, nerd it right. Sorry. Hot oh, noobs. Hmm. Um, is this really not a thing? Uh, Not anymore. Oh wait. Okay. Um. Extra super long episode today. Yeah. Well. Yeah, guys. I got two midterms tomorrow. Can we speed this up? Yep. Oof. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Thanks, I'm Franks. gonna fail them both. All right. Sweet. Whoa. It's purple. <laughs> cool story, Hedge. Uh, all right. Well. Uh, it's I loading. Guess. Uh, why don't you? Who are you? Uh, why don't you guys roll for initiative? And he says, "Can't you see it? It's the eye. It sees your every move. Don't you fear it?" Sadra, no. Right. So. Oof. Uh, I suck. <laughs> Lara, you're up first. Um. Uh. When and it hurts. Of... Sneaky arrow shot from among the legs of your peers. Yeah. Alright, I'll make like, me a. Just make me a stealth him, check. Or... If you're gonna try to Selfie hide. Check. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and hide. Right. Got it. Yep. Ah, uh, you can successfully hide. Okay. I'm soup sneaky. Okay, make okay. your shot. Okay. Hit. Nice. Nope, damage is moderate. Nice. But now. Kick him while he's soliloquying. It's his turn. He's monologuing. <laughs> Get him. Let's see. Uh, what is he going to use? Um, hmm, he's a spellcaster, so this is fun. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, wow, he's got third level spells? Holy shit. What? That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, That's dude. Um, that, well, he animated all the de undead that you fought so far. So. This is why he's going to get us to second level. <laughs> dude, eight kobolds get you to second level. That's true. <laughs> we you guys don't need might... a spellcaster. 
You guys might even have it already, to be honest. Uh, we should we should level up. Yeah, you will for sure. No, I didn't think that we'd gone that far. Uh, well, I've been giving you experience, by the way. You only need seventy-five left to hit the next level. Oh. Uh, so he's gonna cast magic missile. <laughs> no! Oh uh, shit! <laughs> and he's gonna That's target. A he's gonna target Lara. The wall. And he's gonna target Shadron. And he's gonna target Marin. Mm, I and appreciate that. <laughs> Magic missile. Oh man. No. Is, oh. Does that so, mean he missed two of us? No, no he hit all three of you. Hit. Magic oh. missile automatically hits. Oh, okay, I guess. He only did two damage though. I didn't have him attack Kreev because he would have instantly killed him no matter what. Yep. <laughs> Kreev, it's your turn. Um, how far away is he? He is from where Five, you are. 10, 15, 20, 25 feet. 25 feet, I run up to him. Alrighty. And uh, and I attack him with my maul. Alrighty. Roll is there, like, like, charging bonus like there was in 3rd nah. edition? There's not. No? Okay. I Should forgot to hit him. That's him. fine. I forgot to target him. That would hit him anyway. Alright. His AC is super low. There we go. Um, shaboom. Yay! Heavy damage. You're lucky he didn't kill any of you guys. Uh, Doc, this yeah. is He actually gains health if he kills people. Oh. oh wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put it into him really quick. He that gains health <laughs> if he kills... If he, uh... Oh, he's not dead yet. He's a Marion. Uh, he's in critical condition, though. What's up? Burn. Hit him. Destroy. It's your turn. It's not my turn. Now it's my turn. <sighs> I, hey. yeah. I'm being generous, but uh, he has Crown of Madness. <laughs> Ooh. Which makes you attack one of your teammates. Whoa, we should do that. I could have put it. Not, no, I could have had him cast had Crown of Madness on Lara and had her sneak attack everybody or Creeve and have him bring that maul down on you guys, but. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, Marin, <laughs> it's your turn. I wouldn't have done that. Ah, lame. Shite. You didn't believe in yourself. I didn't. All I'm right, going to use inspiration. Oh, wait. Did you have inspiration? Oh, I have like ten more, man. Do, have you been ticking them off when you've been using yeah, them? Yeah, I, st I still have one more and the All candy. right, then I'll allow it, so go ahead. I'm going to use the candy. All right. Does it gain <laughs> health when I eat candy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. I can only be so generous with my mystical DM candy. Dwarven cleric pops a Mentos and rushes the necromancer. <laughs> you know, so on this R fully, I give you complete rights if you want to draw any of this. Just saying. <laughs> he is looking haggard. Like, like, if it gets to his turn, he's probably going to misty step away. No, oh, don't let it get to Because that's turn. a thing that he can do. Lara. A lot of pressure. Don't mess it up. Don't you dare miss. <laughs> you have uh, sneak attack damage because I'm next to him. Yep. Can I sneaky? Yeah, you can sneaky. Finish him. Down goes Oriath, the Lord of Lance Rock. With his what a bitch. animate dead and vampiric touch, misty step, crown of madness, ray of sickness, magic missile, mage armor, false life, shocking grass, prejudication, minor illusion, chill touch. He's kind he of a bad dude, he's so uh, I'm going to cut off his head while he's down. I was going to say he could have false life on. <laughs> I take a spell book. Hey, 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 I need a spell book. You, you don't need do. shit, and you're busy cutting off heads. I didn't cut off his head, he did. Oh. Well, I, I took did. a spell book. Good idea. Always so even if he is about to come back to life, he can't cast magics. So uh, what's so, the thing on this on the pedestal? The symbol? Oh, it's oh just the glowy symbol, the glowy was... orb. Oh, it's, it is an orb. Yes. Um, it okay. is now in the inventory, by the way. I put it all in there. Um, I'm going to wrap it in a cloth so I'm not touching it with my hands. Okay. And I'll, I'm going to take it. Alright, so if you guys look in the inventory, 
screen. Mm -hmm. uh, all the items. Holy shit, he was rich. Right? Where is he? Inventory. There he is. Holy split that shit. That, that's 26 gold for all of us. Yep. Nice. You are welcome. Uh, and How do I take the last sphere? Oh, I click and drag it to the... I'm just going to search his body for sake of searching his body or not. <laughs> you find the gold, the gold and stuff was on him and everything. So you guys have pretty much searched him clean. What's the polished gems? Where are they? Are they just polished gems? I don't know. It's a stick. Okay. Well, we can each take one polished gem. You guys took take the... one polished gem. Yeah. So you got, you took, Hedge took the sphere and Creve took the stick. You guys are sharing the gems, it seems. Yep. How do we only take one? Just click oh. and drag. <laughs> nope, she took both of them. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna give. I'm, I just I split up all the the magic. Uh, the uh, the gold is automatically divvied up to you guys. Oh, uh, nice. So it automatically went How to are your they inventory. Because it uh, it was seventy eight gold. And there are oh, four of you. Yeah. So, um, oh, no. oh, and yeah. with that, folks, we have come to the end of this session. And if I my calculations are correct, I believe you have broken. Once I actually award this experience to you, uh, I'm gonna take that extra leftover money. Drink. I believe that's enough Do experience to push you guys to the next level. So, yeah, I think you guys are you are all level two. Yay. It says you need next experience, but I don't think it awarded that. So to just so you guys can do that, by the way, um, if you open up like the module, the library module for your player's handbook, and go to your class uh -huh. and just drag your class onto where it says like Paladin on like Creve's class, just click and drag Paladin. Onto where it says class paladin, and it'll jump it up to level two. All right, cool. So, so wait, what? Wait. Let me watch. I'm watching Sean do it right now. So go ahead, drag paladin onto where it says paladin. Um, you go to li drag the library. The dragon head. Yeah, drag the dragon head. Oh, I did it. Okay. Good. On uh, where? So Whoa, it where it says there it paladin. Is. Oh shit! And now it should, if you have any options to make choosing of things it'll pop that up for you uh and we'll have auto added in any abilities or things that you gained at level two uh, uh yeah so, divine sense we, divine smite fighting style we, fighting we don't style. roll for health right they does it I mean, ourselves it did that automatically for me which i'm fine yeah with. yeah it, 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 it'll automatically yeah, take half or it'll automatically take half rounded up of for your health Channel Divinity, ooh, yeah. So you guys have all this stuff. Um, we can talk about this more later since it's kind of late for you guys and whether or not if you want to figure out what we're playing, if we're playing next week or not. Uh, and I'm going to say for the sake of time, you guys will have left here and gone back to uh, Red Larch. Is that agreeable? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, sure. And in that time frame, you will have received a short rest, at the very least. Um, so that's a thing. I'm going to give you guys all a short rest. And in that time frame, that will have allowed those of you that picked up weird-looking items to identify what they are. Sweet. So, I identify the stick. All right. Let's Me too. Inventory... You had a glass sphere identified. Creve, you had a stick identified. Wanna magic missiles? We all had the uh, gems and the. And the yeah, the gems. Some of us uh, had eggs. Right, the eggs. I don't know what those do yet, so we'll have to figure that out. Because that was a kind of a random thing, and those of you that grabbed gems, I think they're just worth gold. Um, so anyway, thank you to you guys for playing. Thank you for uh, allowing me to very 
heavily divine force you in the right direction so you don't get destroyed. Um, <laughs> and now we can go and do that mission. Now we almost can... did anyway. Yeah, that's true. Um, now you can do the mission that you were gonna do because you're level two now. Yay! Yay. Um, right. So yeah, and thank you, Internet, for everybody who subscribed. Um, we're all Nerd Immersion. We're here playing Dungeons & Dragons. We might be back next week, if not the week after. Um, and I'll see you guys within 15 minutes for the All Night Guild Wars 2 live stream till I pass out. So, um, anyway, guys, <laughs> we will see you Keep next time. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Peace.